Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> so how about that weather? How about that weather? <laughs> weather is immaculate. Day today, beautiful actually. day today, actually. A little chilly. Not terrible though in the sun. Nice. Hey, I'll tell you though. Migos said it. Migos said the weather, the winter is the best time of the year because you can really just flex. Because you can That's throw on everything true. you own. Very you can true. throw on like three layers. Then you yeah. then this layer gets to be a little bit too much. Boom. Ooh. Boom. Check this jacket <laughs> out. I feel like winter uh, like clothing is more like fresh than mm. like. Summer. Oh yeah. Oh, you can. Some of your sweaty. You got like the like. You got nice those three shorts jeans, that you got on repeat. The all day. nice leather <laughs> jacket you got, or whatever I jacket you got. Jacket. I, wish I, I mean, did. you know what I mean. Or the denim like jacket. <laughs> you, dude, if you had a, if you had like a brown leather jacket, you know how fresh those things are. Yes. I'll tell you one day when I'm fly, I maybe. I would not mess with you. Huh? You I would not fuck with you. Yeah, me. until I hop off on my Harley, bro. I'm saying you'd beat the <laughs> fuck out of me. I see those guys. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they're in the mafia. Hop out of your Tesla truck. You met Uncle Scott. Uncle Scott wears yeah. leather jackets. You he didn't meet Uncle Scott. Uncle Scott's a funny scary dude. I have an Uncle no, Scott, Scott as well. No, he's cool as fuck. He's a cool dude. He's not actually my uncle. He's one of my dad's best friend Don't growing get up. On Dallas for me. Huh? Yeah, he's he lives in Dallas. He he cool. Want to get on his bad side? That's for sure. No, he's a he's a chill dude. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I'm sure. Big as fuck. Like he is wild. Shit out of you. And he rides a Harley. He's a huge. Dude. Is he bald as well with tattoos? No, he's got a nice head of hair though. He looks exactly. He lie. acts exactly like my dad. And it was like, it was. I hadn't. I, I probably haven't talked to Uncle Scott in person. Just me and him since I was down in Dallas. Because every time I saw Uncle Scott, it was me, my dad, and him. So my dad was kind of like leading the conversation. Yeah, I feel you've yeah. never been one on one with Uncle Scott. Yeah, like and then. <laughs> but since I was down in Dallas and down when I was whenever I was down in Dallas was like fifth grade. And, oh, and then yeah. and then I finally like it was me and him mainly talking. I was like, oh my god, I'm talking to my dad. Damn. <laughs> it was insane. I could not describe it. And it was just you and Nick. Versus I felt Uncle so familiar. Scott. And, and uh, IHOP. And, and Maggie IHop. and Maggie and yep. Allie Seymour. Yep. Allie Seymour said three words. Ooh. Probably. It's all right. She's a quiet one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. Hopefully she watches this later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the real though, like this weather <coughs> is really fucking warm. Like I haven't had, I haven't That's heard anybody like mention this lately. But this is like it's mid December right now. Whenever this is being recorded, and it's warm as fuck. Yeah, it was, it's been like out? consistently like it's 50, like, 60. I was about to seems. say maybe 30 or like 40 ish right now. I I've been I have 9 a.m. most of the time or had 9 a.m. most of the time. It's a brisk 37. And every, no, I was about to say every moment. time I wake up for class it's like 28 and I'm hella pissed and throwing all shit and then I go to class and then leave and when I leave I'm sweating mm-hmm. immediately. It's like 55. And I same hate shit. Sweating. Like how the fuck is it 55 degrees in November 29th or whatever the hell it was? See, this is nice because I don't have to worry it's about. Wild. Getting, I know. I, I don't have to worry about getting backs like backpack stains from walking to class. Like he's sweaty too. <laughs> he I knows. I don't, I don't get backpack like, like stains. Like like if you walk though. if you walk from Strong to Hill right now, if it were to Craig, in in like in like August, you okay. don't tell me you sweat hard. Armpit August sweat. for sure. Yeah, if you, sweat, but you can't no, I don't wear get backpack. Sweat. You can't I wear do. cotton well, gray shirts. Sweat. I, it's when the backpack traps all the heat on your back, and yeah. then you're, yeah, you're just, spreading right. like Horrible. disproportionately. To your back sweating I, like I've crazy. I definitely got that, but not enough to where it's like if some oh, person I, walk behind me is like, damn, you're sweating. Oh, me take oh, a I've never, I've never yeah. had that. I've never I had that. I don't wear gray shirts in the summer either. Oh, That's no. common sense. Yeah, good, yeah, good point. If you're going to go to class in like 90 degree weather, you're bound to sweat. You just don't go to class. I, I, <laughs> yeah, <you> just skip. <laughs> It's hot. I and then when it gets cold, out. you're like, ah, it's, it's too cold. It's hella cold. cold. Why yeah. would I go to I class? I go to class when it's 63 degrees, and that's it. <laughs> Dude, but it's, it's not nice. <laughs> you just email your teacher at the beginning of 65, semester. 65, I can't I'll just, fair warning, if it's not 63 degrees, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be at class. I'm going to need you to email me everything <laughs> for that day. <laughs> but when it's nice weather, it's nice weather. And then you, yeah. you feel when that. I'm there, I'm you there. don't appreciate it until it's freaking cold outside. That's very Very hot. I hate the hot way more than the cold. Both ways, though. No, I it's love like the cold. That's, that's a good point because you can always put on more clothes. Facts. That's, that's right. facts. That's facts. You spoke in words of wisdom right now. You every can't time. get more naked. Quote no. the Beatles. Everyone's always like, Damn. "Oh, I love it when it's hot." No, you don't. You like it when it's hot when you're like by the pool. Well, I mean, that's very you know true. Saying? You don't like it when it's when hot it's when you're hot sitting. And in you got the work that day. You're like, "Fuck." Man. I mean, you don't like it whenever it's hot when you're walking back from the pool through the facts for the asphalt parking lot. You like when it's hot for 45 minutes a day. I'm sure we all gotten that question saying, "Would you rather die like?" Fire or just like drowning, cold, like just or being cold? frozen. Never had that. 
I've never You've had never the cold. Gotten that no. question. I would say like cold. go cold because you can always throw on layers. You go numb. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> you can always throw on layers. Not like, when you just defeated you your question. A longer time I think you just. Than, <laughs> would you rather be burnt? Like you're like screaming the whole time. Well, that's cool because I'll just find water. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just loophole your own question, all right, man. All right. I guess, but <laughs> I don't like, know. Fuck. <laughs> No, Fuck I think it, in that question, though, for real, I'd probably rather burn to death than really? hypothermia. Can you imagine just fucking shivering to death? I mean, no, you, you get shiver numb. for about you five get, minutes, you and, you just, and, you just, and you just and you're just like, man, I'm about to die. Yeah, when yeah. you're burning, you get hotter and hotter, and you're like, I'm about. You like, catch on fire, and then you die probably like a minute. But in. you're screaming. You've seen movies. They're you know, screaming that whole time. Man. Or you can't think. You, you know they say. Freeze. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'd like to die. What do you think, cold. Jordan? Have you guys seen? I think it was during the Vietnam protest back in the '60s during the Vietnam War. I know what you're about to say? I think where the dude literally is just sitting there. I'm pretty sure he's meditating. Yeah. Like it's like a monk, and he lights himself on fire. In South Vietnam or whatever during. This the is like a real yeah. thing. Yeah, this there's is a real pictures. Thing. There's oh, yeah. videos of it too. Rage there's videos. Well, machine, what was he trying cover. to prove here? <laughs> he was just saying that like <laughs> album cover. It is for Rage Against the Machine. I oh think. really? Uh-huh. Damn. Oh, there <laughs> yeah, that's Jamie. That's cultural well. appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is. Uh, anyway, I think it was like some southern monk from Vietnam who was just like, violence <coughs> is never the answer, or something, 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 mm-hmm. and just literally sat in the road, commit self, covered himself in gasoline and lit a match and just sat there. And I don't think he. I don't can't remember, but it was like he, he essentially had to sat flinch. there. He probably made a noise, I imagine, but. Those monks are savage, bro. Up. Yeah, literally. That's unreal. <laughs> I Honestly, I will pull that video right, up. That, it's that insane, up. dude. Yeah. It's yeah. insane. I'm I've the, never seen that. So I'm going to show uh, you the picture of the Rage Against the Machine album so you all know I'm not crazy. I feel like, I would, I feel like I'd rather freeze to death because then your body's preserved. And then maybe, <laughs> you know, like 200 years from now, <laughs> Ooh, the site Captain is America. excavated. And the then right there. Who Thinking knows? Captain America, that, Jordan Fisher. And Black and white that, picture. Is that what happens in Captain America? Captain yeah. America was born in like the 40s um, or yeah. the 30s. No, and then I definitely agree. Look at with that you picture though. on the top, that black and white. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. I, I took the class on this last year. I was about to say history year. major, yeah. Yeah, oh, there, yeah, there we go. I saw it. <coughs> 1963. Vietnamese Buddhist monk who burned himself to death. Oh, I'll just put that phone right there. Oh, wait, they have actual footage of it? Damn. Dude, that's good quality, too. That is. Look at that. Yeah, I don't think that's it. <laughs> I mean, it... It looks like gas. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds like an old cowboy movie. Yeah, I'm seeing it sideways. Where's I can't like tell the if Pretty good quality. Should we fast forward a little All bit? the homies are just watching. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, we got to see that trade. All the yeah. homies are just watching. Yeah. They're not doing anything about it. There's hella monks. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. I'm, wow. I'm chilling on that. Chilling. Look at him. <laughs> not even moving. As he, he never <laughs> moved a muscle or uttered a sound. Nirvana. <laughs> He doesn't feel anything, bro. It's yeah. like this oh, video is like, out. like this video is like lit, but it's like not lit at the same time. It's, like, it's that, pretty lit. If it's you have lit. <laughs> Damn, you be, bro. No, could you ever be that though. sure about something though? That's no. Oh, like, oh. like to the point where you're gonna kill yourself literally to prove oh, a point. If I'm That's killing myself. Insane, I'm, I'm taking dude. a gun. I'm Everyone's not bowing myself. to him. Do Buddhists l- believe oh, in respect. reincarnation? Respect. For sure. What? Buddhists li- wow. believe in reincarnation, yeah, yeah, yeah. so he's, he's that confident that he's gonna be reincarnated. I guess. He's probably baby confident right in now. something, bro. That is that is that is some confidence I hope to have one day. That's oh my insane. goodness! I think that he's is... just trying to make a point, but I would not make a point and turn like my life in. For that. But the yeah. thing is, like after you make that point, that point has nothing to do with you ever again. Yeah. Facts. You know what I mean? I mean, then again, we're what is it? Eight, sixty years from now, we're pulling it up. True. Pull it up, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, he made something work from it, I guess. I'm sure there was a lot more taken from that, but I don't know. That is that shit is crazy though. Vietnam War was crazy. <laughs> that f- would fucking suck. I that would if is crazy. could you guys imagine being drafted right now? No. Like right right now, you're drafted. And we, homies were drafted like, four years ago, like in our lifetime. You know what I'm saying? When they're like 17, 18, they'd lie if they're 16 to fucking go to war. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no, I'll chill at home. They bro. did that in the Running Vietnam War. Normandy at age 18, like at the time. When that door goes down, like in Saving Private Ryan, yeah, oh, and my all the homies just. My great grandpa was in Normandy. That's I, I went. I went to. Bro. I went to. Uh, 
What's the cemetery you have over to there? Be one of the last boats to survive. Well, it, it's like. Normandy, no. Well, Normandy they, cemetery. Yeah, like the uh, cemetery in for France. the D-Day. Yeah, up in the northern France, up by the beaches. That is the most crazy. I've never been like, oh, like hyped to go to a cemetery. Oh, and yeah. then I went there, and it was just like overwhelming. Like, yeah. Have uh, oh, you ever yeah. been to Arlington in D.C.? Uh uh-uh. uh. you been to D.C.? You walk past uh, the grave sites and then you're walking this way and you're looking and they're all in a straight line and you walk five mm-hmm. feet to the right where it's mm-hmm. and it's still in a straight line based on how they're proportioned yeah and there's like just fountains everywhere like you know how those infinity fountains where you look like they had fountains everywhere that just go to the ocean and then if you look at them they just look like they just continue into the ocean like Dang. flat and it's just Damn. never it, seen that it's just i i never seen anything like that in my life jefferson barracks i don't know oh. if you've heard of that oh JB, yeah yeah that's next are you talking about it it's right next to the JB Bridge area. Like, if you go up 270 all no. the way to Illinois. I thought you were talking about the one down here. They uh, parents oh. were talking about coming down. Oh, oh, that's the uh, Battlefield, some creek, Williams Creek or mm-hmm. some shit, Battlefield. But anyway, uh, Jefferson Barracks in St. Louis, like, probably 20 minutes from Fenton. It was the same shit. Like, literally, there's graves there from the 1800s. From like, It's like a soldier's memorial thing. And the for the Civil War? N- uh, not just for the Civil War, but it's just like a burial ground, like a na- nation run, like, or national run thing. It's like, I don't know, but it's like apparently for all soldiers and shit. And it was the same, like, you'd look and there'd be a line as far as you could see of all the same exact, like, gravestones that have, like, their shit or whatever engraved in it. But, yeah, I remember seeing, like, graves from literally, like, the 1890s and shit, like, yeah. super worn down. I thought that was super cool. They keep them up, don't they? Like, uh. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're clean, but it's like, obviously, <coughs> for it being that old, it's like some of the engravings have kind of gotten smooth and shit, but. What? Uh. That's wild. I went there. That was the part of the amazing part. Like, Arlington was the same way. Arlington, they have the. The. Un. The unmarked grave where the hidden soldier. It's where. I mean, not. Uh. The unknown soldier. Yeah. Grave, it, where they. It could be anybody. And people that never found their uh, loved one will go there and just, like, pay respects to that grave because there's, like, seven in there. And they always have, like, they have, like, soldiers there. They can't talk to anybody. They can't walk, to, like, for, like, months. They, they're not allowed to, like, say words. And then uh, they stand outside and do the same routine for hours, and they take shifts, but they don't talk. They don't watch TV. They just sit there and just do this for months. Just keep watch. And then they have, like, the flame that They has can't talk? Not at all. How do they know when it's time to switch shifts? Shifts. I don't know. To <laughs> fucking stars. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the sun, <coughs> sun position. But uh, then they have like the flame that's it's never gone out except for like one time. This nun tried to bless it with some water. Like this flame to like for years and years and years had never gone out. And then Damn, the one day this, this nun nun tried to like sprinkle water on it and go like this. Dumbass. Like rain and stuff has fallen on it. Everything. But for some reason, when the nun did it. It went like this. It just went out, and then and then I don't know. They just lit it again. They so it was like put that woman in a grave and relit the man, fire. I wish I knew what it was called. <laughs> it's like pissed. something like the uh, Infinity. Fl- nah, that's too Avengersy. That's <laughs> the Thanos <laughs> flame. Like the Thanos <laughs> flame. <laughs> no, I think I've heard of that though. Like the hmm. kind of like Olympic torch type. I've shit. never heard of that. It's like in the ground. It's like they just dug. What's the feeling of going to these massive grave sites like? You know, like I mean, it's one thing to go to a big cemetery, but yeah. somebody that passed away like due to war. Yeah. You know, and just get that on like a mass scale. What's that like? I don't know, man. Steve probably knows more than me with the DC stuff, but when I was there, I was just like, kind of felt like a piece of shit. Like, damn, there's so many people that are like dead because they're protecting like just me fucking around and not knowing my mate like you know yeah. what I'm saying like damn I better get a job because Literally this guy smoking just died there or some <laughs> shit like that <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like somewhere between humbling and walking in like a china shop where you're too yeah. afraid to touch anything yeah, yeah, yeah. like something that nice and like I feel like I'm you're trespassing so, I'm so afraid to like we walked we walked to my great grandpa's grave and then like I was walking past all this stuff. I was so scared to where I was walking if I was doing something wrong. I was so scared to walk on, like, the grass. And, like, I was just freaking out the whole time, hoping I wasn't, like, breaking any rules. Because if you break rules there, you're not, like, no one's going to be, like, oh, dang, you did this. They're going to be, they're going to, like, Everyone's tell you, they're going to tell you to do this. And but on the inside, you're just like, oh, my God, I'm the worst person alive. Yeah, I know. I, I just, oh, man. I That's, don't know, man. It definitely is humbling, though. You're just like, I haven't done shit. 
yeah. these people were 21 and died in a different country defending our yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's above me I was wondering what they think about our current culture like those people that died for America Probably like why the fuck did I die for this shit yeah <laughs> honestly honestly some of them are probably yeah no it's fucked I, hope I, not. I didn't mean that to be like fucked up but I mean, it pro- like, I mean, you know, I'm just like a disappointed father. Yeah, or something. I'm sure yeah. some of them are disappointed. I'm sure some of them are like, well, we're still safe. Like, whatever. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't I mean, know, man. I don't know. I feel like a lot of those graves, too, are homies that were just drafted, found themselves in Vietnam or wherever the hell they were. You're definitely and just like, right, This though. sucks. <laughs> I could be at most state right now or some shit. I don't know. That would suck, man. I always think about that playing cod or something like would i be good if i ended up in a war oh like, dude i think i think i would time. shit i, I would, think i would shit feel a like everyone thinks about that though i, would, I always think i used about to think that. about that when i was little when i, I get no toy guns streaks, and bro. stuff like yeah. i always think about that like when i'm playing laser tag i walk out i'm like dang bro i'm kind of good special at that. forces <laughs> special <laughs> stores <laughs> forces steve <laughs> special <laughs> special <laughs> forces yeah Not no i i agree with that though when you're I playing some laser tag you think you're seal team six <laughs> but the thing is, I feel like war can be like if everyone could just speak. Like this is, this is a pretty rough thing to say. But like if everyone like could like speak their minds, no one would shoot each other. But at the same time, no one speaks the same language, no, and it's either yeah. you shoot them or they shoot you, type deal. So well, everybody ends up shooting no each other. No matter how much you're talking, there's always a power dynamic, you know. I mean, I mean, reality. Like the average homie that got drafted from Germany. Do you think if like you could? If they oh, knew, if yeah, they knew okay. that on the same side that yeah, person yeah, yeah. was not trying to shoot you either, no, they would definitely, shoot. No, definitely, definitely. No, I think I agree with that. I thought you meant like presidents <coughs> oh, talking. Oh no. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, I was talking about an individual basis. They're gonna basis. know. Yeah. No, I agree with that. That's a very rough thing to say. Yeah. Back in, back in, this is crazy. Back in World War One, there were two sides. I want to say it was the on French Christmas. and the German on Christmas who oh, yeah. stopped to play soccer in no man's land. <laughs> that was oh, like yeah. four the next years day, into the war too. They were all like hella done with and it. They, yeah, and they just stopped for they could no one. It Damn, took forever I never them. Heard about that? Yeah, it wow. took them forever to fire the next day. It like it just took them like so long. They like had a dinner. They had like they shared food. They played soccer like th- between the trenches, and they went back to the trenches the next day. And then it just they said it was just stalemate That's for a crazy, long time. No bro. one to fire. I couldn't <laughs> respect. respect. I mean, it's just hard to after you played soccer with them and stuff oh, like yeah. and shared meals and stuff. That's just brutal. I could. I know, man. They're no longer the enemy, you know? right? No, yeah. Right. I think that's the whole thing. of The enemy is the guy you don't know their face, like the the one who's just trying to shoot you. Mm-hmm. As soon as you find out who your enemy is, like, and see oh, their situation, that's when you're different. Fucked. You never be able to do anything. At least that's how I think. It's I'd different be. behind the gun after that. For yeah, sure. definitely. Oh man. Just like we were saying, I think this was before the podcast. <coughs> we were saying Trump kind of makes like Islamics, like Muslims, the enemy. Oh, yeah. And this past weekend, I played in a soccer tournament, and the the dominant race, like population of the soccer tournament, was like Islamic people, like people yeah. from Saudi Arabia. Mm. Dude, some oh. of the nicest fucking people, like oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. We got a few friends. What? A few friends that are Saudi Arabians. Yeah, yeah. They're hella nice. They yeah. are, man. I feel like those people are, just like have a anyone, great. Though, they have know? a great uh, concept of upstairs. like family. I feel like you know what I'm saying. They uh, they're just kind of like they have a really good gel among them. Like they're they're always super close with one another. That's something that some people can't really figure out. <laughs> oh well, they'll get over. There's it. a there's like a travel vlogger guy. I think his name's Drew Bensky. This guy has traveled all over the world, like most of the world he's been to at this point. And he said Pakistan was like the nicest country he went to. He's going in, like, a supermarket. He's trying to buy, like, say, for example, some avocados. And he's like, hey, like, how much is it? And they're like, no, 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 you don't pay. Like, you don't pay. Like, you are are a visitor to us, and obviously, like, he's white, so he stands out. Yeah. And it's like, no, you don't pay. Damn. And they just – they were just giving him, like, free shit, and they're like, no, you're a visitor to us. We treat you well. In the U.S., they'd charge him more because he's a tourist and they don't know any better. You know what I'm saying? It's just a mindset that there's difference. Dude. Right there, yeah. <coughs> on on par with U.S. I went I went to Paris. Paris. I was like I went out to the some church up on a big hill, the biggest hill in in Paris. I went up. There's a church at the top of it. Going back down the hill, there was so many rude people. Like these people uh, bought out all the tickets to the tram and charged them like double so they could sell it back and stuff no like that. No way. Yeah, it's so many people. There's there's nice people, like performers and stuff. Like this guy yeah, they have to be nice, climbed right? up a telephone pole and was juggling a soccer ball. 
like at the top of a telephone That's awesome. pole. And he was like on his foot, and everybody's cheering him on and stuff like that. And Dude, then, could you imagine the core strength? Oh by my the goodness! Way, to juggle a soccer ball, like how was he wrapped around this? He was pole? like he was sitting around it, uh, like this. He, oh, was so like, his 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 legs, legs was on something. His legs was on something. He climbed up though. That's that's still beyond me. That's crazy. <laughs> but the people were just so rude. My, I remember. Uh, I regret doing this, but I was I was like, I was younger, and I went out that whole day, and I was just so tired of people there. I did not want to go out with them. And Can then, I? Oh, sorry, I and then you. France had just won. Uh, like they just advanced in the World Cup that night, and so there was like SWAT teams out in full armored gear, walking around with like assault rifles, just uh, patrolling the streets. And that's after they won. Not even after they lost. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not going out. There's not a chance you catch me out there. That's crazy. There's not a second. So I, you guys asked me my plan after college, after yeah. I graduated, and I told you, porn star, obviously. But, <laughs> nah. but no, okay, so would you recommend, because I've heard this time and time and time again, because whenever you're, like, planning a trip like this, you start asking people that oh, have been yeah. around to the other countries, and you're like, yo, what's this like? What's this like? So many people have told me to just skip France. Like, they say the people there are, like, ethnocentric. They're just fucking assholes overall. Like, would you – what what would be your advice with France? Because I've been thinking about just skipping it completely, to be honest. I think I think you have to go just because the Louvre's there. Louvre? Louvre? Lou? Like, just the Louvre. That isn't the, uh, the Louvre. With Mona Lisa. <laughs> They're thinking about taking Mona Lisa out of the museum just because, like, I didn't say I have this problem, but whenever you go there – there's like signs everywhere that say watch for pickpockets keep your hands in your pockets and people you know you ever seen uh what's that movie where the guy has the pouch that goes inside his shirt with all his wallets and stuff so he doesn't get it stolen uh i don't know i'll get back jamie look <laughs> jamie, it up <laughs> get back with us jamie yeah, please look but that uh, up later. but like it just completely there's like paintings all around the walls and stuff but the mona lisa's right there and it's about it's about this big you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it's it's not even it's very underwhelming compared to what you expect and once you see it you're just like there it Bro, is that's how art is for me i've oh, uh, forever there's certain things that are cool like the i think art's cool in general because it's just i feel like every time i look at it i'm just like well that's something i, w- I don't understand but someone else does and it's probably really neat that's how i see it you know time out did you guys see that fucking banana <laughs> duct taped on the wall that got sold for a hundred and twenty thousand. I want to know what rich guy. That's what it's, I'm. It's that I'm about to go duct tape a whole bunch of fruits on the wall. Yeah, you <laughs> duct tape a pineapple. The kombucha 000. king. The kombucha, kombucha king. I got a fucking apple. You know the kombucha and king. A I, I've seen the Cody Cove video. Yeah, oh my kombucha god. King. That is gold. I bet you he bought it. Art, just, just this is turning into a joke if you're gonna start with that shit. Banana. Banana <laughs> duct taped to the wall, like. <laughs> What? Wow. Any a third grader could have came up with that. You know what I'm saying? Like anyone could have came yeah, up with that. All <laughs> <laughs> bananas are yeah. biodegradable. It's just gonna yeah, turn I know. to shit. Let that like, sit on sh- uh, on the shelf for another week. What are you gonna do? It's like you just basically bought a hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of one banana and that you could get for forty nine cents. A like cut piece of duct tape for a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> like, that what? is just one enormous flex. Why do people throw a hundred racks in the club? He just said, "Fuck it, I'll show you how much money I have." That's 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 <laughs> the that's he the wanted to have his name be on the articles that were like, "You're who right." Who the fuck bought that? The cameras are <laughs> on you know him. Yeah, his name's out there now. That's how that's this fucking world works nowadays, bro. That's the stuck-up version of throwing a hundred racks in the club. Yeah, that's I know. the most stuck-up version that's I've the, ever heard. In my that's life. the white-collar <laughs> version. That could have gone to some <laughs> nice charity, but it went to a banana and duct tape. Oh my god! <laughs> Just imagine having that much money. That's imagine like, being the guy that put that up there. Like, this will be funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone like Nick, we someone bought your banana. That's like <laughs> no way for 120 G's. Like what? The that f- <laughs> for some people that's like three years of grinding dude, in, in the workforce, real, dude. And then and then if that's if you didn't, if that's if you just were completely dependent on someone, you pay know, for a single thing. Man. You just grind it at like some th- some job that pays like forty thousand dollars. I want to yeah, know I, this artist and what he's done in the past. Oh my god! Bro. Like more duct tape items. <laughs> he probably different, isn't an artist. He's thing. probably just some fucking night shift <laughs> guy. He's just, just like, like give me this shot. His friend, yeah, his friend works at the art studio. And he's like, bro, let me put a piece up. What'd you do? Just duct taped a fucking banana. <laughs> yeah. I was fucked well, up, bro. Yeah. I was so drunk last night. I, <laughs> yeah. It's not going to sell, but it'd be fucking you hilarious. You not believe it. We saw you just wandering the halls of the art museum. Well, taped up this what? banana. I Don't tell it. anybody, but I roll. I rub my nuts all over <laughs> it, too. Could you imagine, like, 
putting that up as a joke and then walking away with 120k <laughs> no. for for a for like a 20 cent banana and not and even a, in a and, dream and then and then and then one snippet of duct tape which has cost like three dollars that's a hundred twenty thousand dollar profit almost minus four dollars <laughs> count it count it hundred and twenty jesus i would be so mad like if if I don't know, no, I wouldn't be mad if, if I didn't do that. If I produce. wasn't a part of that, I would be so mad. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I was at the third party, I would be like, oh my god. You put like forty-eight hours in your fucking painting, yes. <laughs> meticulously, yeah. just put literally it, this little dot here. Chance yeah. the world, little kid out you of came nowhere, up with some whole new art tape. concept, and then some other guy just this That's drunk guy comes, breaks into the art museum, puts this up, yeah. runs away, doesn't get caught. Oh, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. He basically for whoever made this. You basically <laughs> just drop lift yourself in our museum. You know, lift yourself from my Kanye. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you never heard lift yourself. I thought I heard it. Oh my God! Whenever uh, Drake got or K- Drake told Kanye about his son, and then Kanye gave him a beat, and then instead of giving ta- Drake time to drop the song, he dropped lift yourself, and that's when he said poopity scoop a bunch of times oh. in that song. Oh. That was that was it. He basically poopity scooped that banana on the wall. Poopity scoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was that was Kanye, man. Wait, he that's did. why Kanye did it. Drake oh, wanted yeah. the beat from Kanye. No, no, Kanye. All right, so you know how they say Drake. Well, I don't. I don't think Drake is a very good guy right now because he's texting all them youngins. But What's this is besides the Drake? point. How yeah, young? How young? Uh, Millie really? Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. But how old, how old is that? Fourteen. Yeah. And then young. yeah. What? Yeah, she's yeah. Young. So have you seen Stranger Things? No. Do you know who? I know they're young. Eleven. 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 No, not the. Wait, she's wait. not eleven. Oh, she's, okay. her, her character's name is eleven. eleven. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sixteen year old. She's fourteen though, so three years yeah. older than eleven. So whatever yeah, still want, fucking whatever weird. you want to say like, that. You it, know? Was, it was like some interview. Drake was like, uh, she was like, yeah, I always text Drake. Uh, he always texts me, and I asked my boy problems. And I, the other day, he was like, there, he was like, I miss you, and he's, and I was like, I miss you too. And everybody was uh, just like, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Minute. There's no back. way. There's no way this is getting like. Wait, is he is he kind of coming in from left field trying to be like a mentor, or is it on some creepy shit? Dude, he's done this before. So this girl what? turned 18. I, I'd have to look it up on Twitter or something. But this, I, I, if you find Drake somewhere, there's this artist that was like 17. Whenever she turned 18, he was post he was posting pics with her like. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Drake, you're canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. I hope you see this, Drake. Please, God. He's coming out with a new album. Did you see that on Twitter? Uh-uh. He was at I'll the, still he listen was to it. He was at the baby concert. <laughs> I'll still listen to it. He started, like, gassing up the baby hella hard, like, on stage. And everyone was super Define hard. gassing up. Just like, you're the best, baby. You've done so well this year. You're Didn't literally really say insane. That. Yeah. But the baby was getting all hyped at his concert <clears throat> and everyone was getting super excited and then he's like all right i'm gonna go back to the crib and work on this new album i've been gonna try to drop <laughs> the literal and clip, then, yeah, crib yeah that's what he said and then <laughs> that's funny <laughs> literally that's funny. i'm gonna go back to the crib and find 11 real quick no but he was uh he said that and then said he was gonna go back and work on his album and then everyone in the concert would just freak the fuck out and then it went viral on twitter so did you see uh the last time he went viral between 11 <coughs> and that he went to uh, Tyler the Creator's uh, Flognaw Camp or something like that, some the, the Odd Future Festival, and he showed up and said he performed a song, and he says I'm about to perform some old stuff. He was playing uh, uh, Feel Away from Views, and it's oh. one of my favorite songs. And yeah. you see, the average person it would be hype. Flognaw booed him off the stage. What? Then, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. For feel the ways. Yes. Drake got booed off the stage. Or feel no I, mean, he, I, I don't think he left the stage. He's got too big of an ego to leave the stage. No. No. But well, yeah. I don't know, man. If, if I was Drake, there's no way I'm leaving if the stage. If I was a That's super successful like rapper, artist, singer, whatever, and homies like this, he's what like seven to eight years into being like well known, but if you l- type if homie, I if I start to get booed, I'd just be like. See ya. I'm not gonna get booed. He like, might have been all around longer than that because I, I think left. he really started coming around like 08. Degrassi. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah, point. Degrassi. Yeah, Degrassi's way. No one's like. Have you I seen never Drake really Degrassi? watched that, when, though. But. I know right above it came out at before 2010, was, like 09 a, at least. That was a couple. Al- that wasn't even his album. That was uh, Lil, Lil Wayne's Wayne. album. But it yeah, no, he had. No, what was it? Man, not nothing I'm was the same. Fly. It was so far gone. So far gone. Yeah. 
Houston, Atlanta, Vegas is in 2009. There. 2009. Man, he's been on top for 10, ten years. years. Wow. Well, not yeah. t- he's probably not on top anymore. He t- takes no. 11. He's, he's, I, would, I, I wouldn't think say he was, he's on top right now. He was on top <coughs> after Mar- or not Marvin's, but whatever. His his last last he was on top. Take care. Take care. Albums, take care. Yeah. He was on but then top nothing was the year. same. That came was the same. I thought that was fantastic. That was one of my favorites. Nothing was the same. Was em- like an emotional roller Bro, coaster. Bro, I tell you right now to go at some point. If J- if Jamie was here, you could do it. But you go <laughs> at some point. You go on to. SoundCloud or YouTube and listen to Childish Gambino's freestyle of uh, Ooh, Pound uh, Cake. Pound freestyle. Cake. Yeah, yes. That's so Have you good. heard Pound Cake? That song. On Child- that album. Just beautiful roller coaster. I fucking coaster. love that song. Childish Gambino is so talented. And uh, yeah, yeah Childish Gambino just goes in on it. On Only Sway real artists going to last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All this other bullshit. <laughs> is here today and gone tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. That's such a good one, bro. Yeah. There's a bunch of good ones in there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yes. Have you heard. Uh, Chandler Road by Childish Gambino. Mm-mm. I don't know if he just Mm-mm. didn't finish it, but like he was like trying to come up with the the hook as he was doing the song. Like he, I guess he wrote something for the first verse, and I, I wouldn't say the beat was good because it wasn't. Yeah. But I feel like his bars weren't as good either. But the once you get through the hook, and then he kind of lets his voice go, and then he, he's a very good singer. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, he raps the second verse, and that's probably one of my favorite mm-hmm. verses of all time. Really? And Charles yeah. Gambino has so many like points of his talent that are just like probably my favorites. And then yeah. he uh, he's good. He's he, really good. He sings on open mic. I, I don't know if it's BBC or Genius. Uh, the I don't know if it's uh, live lounge or open mic. He sings a song by Tamia, So Into You, and it's so good. It's really? so good. Oh my god! It's that one I showed you with the electric piano. Oh. Oh I my goodness! Yeah, it's yeah. so good. Here's a question I like asking people. Who do you guys think is the best entertainer? So that that Shit. kind of implies like they got like a you know a fair mm-hmm. amount of of talents. Like I've thought into this question, my responses would probably be Childish Gambino or Joe Rogan. Yeah, because you know like think about like Joe Rogan for example, UFC announcer, greatest podcast in the world in my opinion, and one <laughs> of the most mo- people's opinions. Yeah, true. One Which of the most popular. Opinion, what too. is the most popular uh, podcast? Yeah, I think he, he's like consistently top three. He might yeah. be. And then he might one. be. And he might be there. I know last podcast on the left does well. There's like some TED Talk kind of podcast that does pretty well. Like, yeah. As far as like this is based off like Apple top charts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then he's got he hosts a Fear Factor. Yeah, he's been around for a really and he long. Fear Belt Factor and Jiu-Jitsu. Was, and he whooped everyone in the NBA, or not NBA? Well, MMA. Yeah, the NBA. Yeah. Was he no. MMA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he just well, he, I don't think he ever fought anybody. No, though. not really. Pretty sure he was just the host, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. MMA came around before, like after his prime. Because he, he did like he did mixed martial arts for that? a minute, but like that's MMA. Kind of got well. I know, but like he did it like in his gym with his. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Like he never took it to TV. <laughs> Does he have oh, a little you. ownership in that? MMA? I assume I he's he got some. his foot in the door somewhere. Yeah, I think he does. I don't know. To answer your question though, mm-hmm. when you said most, uh, um, like talented person, first one who came to my head was Jamie Fox. Ooh, close, yeah. Jamie Foxx got a couple albums released, Jamie, yeah. and he's in Blame it more than a dozen movies, you know. And then like, there's Gold Digger, yeah. which was like a platinum song, you know. what I'm saying like he's got his his fingers on a lot of stuff, and he's been Damn. in a lot of movies. Like, <clears throat> has TV he done shows. any like stand up? He did a thing called oh, Live in Color, which is it. something you've probably haven't heard of, but it was essentially probably like in the '90s and early 2000s, another SNL oh. type thing. But it was like all colored, like all it's like all black thing. Oh, Not all black, but it was like black entertainment network type thing. But like it's comedy BG. related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Ooh. it was essentially like SNL. But Jamie Fox was like their their main ticket to Just homie. I'm pretty sure. Hot take here: Justin Timberlake is the white Jamie Fox. Oh yeah, Just, <laughs> JT. Justin Timberlake yeah. is the white Jamie Fox. Facts, hey, actually, guys. have you seen him on SNL? He's hella funny. He's cold. He's he's raw he's, with it. He and Jimmy. And he was in what's what movie was he in? The the he's one uh, with in time one, in time. He's in a couple movies. The one with oh, Mia really? Kunis. The one with Mia Kunis. Friends with Benefits. Yeah, yeah there that's it is. what I was thinking yeah. of. I couldn't think of the name though. Good movie. Good movie. I've never yeah. seen. I've never and he's seen in, it actually. He was in the hockey movie we watched the other day. Oh no way! Was. Yeah, 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 he was the cock and Goon. Yeah. No, it was, it was uh, Goon. It Adam was. Sandler movie. No, he was in Goon. He was the goalie. No, oh. that's not him. The Adam Sandler movie. Goon, he wasn't the goalie. Hockey, Adam Sandler movie? Yeah, we watched it the other day. It was Happy. Goon. No, uh, it wasn't Goon. I, you're it, stupid. It was Goon. All right, you're about to feel so Wait, dumb. Wait, you're talking about the, the golf, like, 
no, Happy Gilmore? No, no, no. Adam Sandler's the love guru. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guru. I'm stupid right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About, yeah. Oh, okay, because they're both hockey related. Okay. You're yeah, yeah. yeah I've never do. seen. We watched. We watched uh, it together. The Goon. Have you seen the Goon ever? Is that the dude from? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. He's very uh, what's uh, American Pie? Yes, yes. That's the guy. I can't think of the actor's name. Stifler. I've Stifler from St- American Pie. It is Pie. Stifler. It is Stifler. I know who you're talking about. We watched like both those hockey movies. He's just movies. like a super nice guy that just beats the shit out of everyone. Yeah, and then we moved <laughs> yeah. over to Love Guru or whatever the fuck it's called. I and never saw it. We you guys have a date night when I was in the podcast. No, you were with Tori probably. You know, it's, hey, oh, it's, in, it's always in, me and Steve. He was in the social network. Whoa. He was in the social network. Oh, no, was he really? No, I was probably Friends setting for a final. Yeah, it was just me and Nick. I think Justin Timberlake. It was a 2008 movie with – no, it was Mike Myers. Mike Myers is the g- love guru, and he's trying to get this uh, – he's trying to get this star goalie out of his funk going into the finals. And then – uh, his girl. And then the goalie on the other team, they call him the cock. And then <laughs> – Lecoq, and, uh, actually. Lecoq. 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 <laughs> you get the gist. And then <laughs> and then he's th- – that dude took his girl, and he's trying to get his love mojo back and get his girl back so he can win the – uh, Stanley Cup Finals or whatever because he sucks without his girl. Dude, his girl every playing. time I see an Adam Sandler movie on Netflix, I just keep scrolling most of the time. See, like I, the don't new mi- ones. I don't <laughs> mind Adam Disappointing. Sandler. Though. I know, like bedtime stories. That shit was good. Whoa, I liked it. You're what? the only person in Is the that history new? of the United Is States. It? No, that was from probably like what? 2011. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever bedtime seen stories. Bedtime stories. Is it? it it's with, like historically with, with thick, the, bro. They, <laughs> no they, put, they, they put the hamster with the big eyes in there and yeah. thought it was a good idea. That was my raining. favorite part. <laughs> 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 no, no click, that definitely wasn't my favorite click, part. But I thought it was a good movie. I feel like I. Is it something that seems like it's marketed <laughs> to like families? Yes. Yes. 100%. Yes. yes. They're in like a gladiator so stadium at they one go, point. It's like dream or whatever they go through. the kids the kids tell the the kids make the bedtime story and he just and wakes then, up in a different wacky situation and, and then and whatever day. whatever I the kids this. Yeah, i remember I this whatever the kids say it comes to life in a like a way movie, like I they'd say they say uh imagination. president fell on his head but really it was a penny it was abraham lincoln that fell on his head hit him on the head and he's like freaking out whenever it started raining and then a penny hit him in the head and he was like oh and then, like one of the people said, he caught. You on gotta fire watch it. And he freaked out. And no, then you don't. It's just, <laughs> don't watch it. Save yourself <laughs> yeah, two no. hours. I will say. Watch that Click though and ball your eyes out. <laughs> Click, Click is, that's from like two thousand seven. Click, Click ripped my heart open. No way. When he's oh my god. I've never seen oh it. I remember seeing the how commercials. How old were we in two thousand seven? I remember seeing it in Blockbuster. Oh, if we're gonna be real, if I'm I remember real. seeing that movie in Blockbuster. That movie when came Blockbuster out. Blockbuster was a thing. That came, that movie came out when I was nine years old at least because I was I watched it in third grade. I actually watched that movie while I was on a bus full of dudes on this like on our way to some soccer tournament thing, and uh, huh? swear to God I was like kind of crying. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. one of the oh, yeah. few hey, movies I that. In, oh, I was nine. Don't, I was uh, nine. Spoil it was the ending for me. I've never seen it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Sounds Dude, pretty bummer. It's a pretty <laughs> funny I movie. I don't, don't want to cry now. Hey. Podcast viewers, <laughs> skip ahead. 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, so well, never mind. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Wow. He just ruined his podcast. No, they're going to skip ahead 20 seconds of me <laughs> explaining how I did the Wisconsin <laughs> podcast. <laughs> now, there's another, there was one gotta, that came out with Adam Sandler recently, like the past year, that was actually hella cheese on Netflix. Oh. It was one about, like, <clears throat> he was, like, the dad of this oh, daughter who's so about good. to get married. And then, like, the daughter's getting married to Chris Rock's son. Oh, and Chris, so Rock's, Chris Rock is, like, a neurosurgeon who's like a billionaire or some shit and he just never has time to go to anything but then adam sandler is like the dad of like 10 kids in this kind of small like brooklyn house and it's like his interaction like him being the father-in-law is like super funny but i can't remember the name of it <coughs> remember the, did you see it oh yeah I, I saw it it was it was pretty dang good yeah it, and then <coughs> it's definitely the best Adam Sandler movie I've seen that's came out in the past like Listen, three four years. The Listen. Cobbler was pretty good, and that movie with David I didn't like Spade. The, I've never I seen didn't like the Cobbler. There's every movie, the, every movie. The, the Cobbler is like it's serious, but it's a good plot in is my it, opinion. It's okay. the David Spade one where he's like the trailer guy, and he takes a he does a hot tub in the back of his truck. No, that one's do over. funny. Do over. Do over. Do over. Yeah. Do over. Do over was do over good. Was good. I like that movie. Watch. Uh, I don't know if it's Mystery Date Night or Murder Mystery oh, Date Night. Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Oh, no, I didn't see that It one. was basically a clue. That's my you know, girl. Clue, the yeah. Game board, or the, even the movie, I guess. It was basically a clue. Like, 
a movie type based and it's on this like cruise ship this guy has a whole bunch of money he's like 70 yeah. years old has all these kids and then the lights go off and then he's dead when the lights come back on oh. and then the whole time I'm pretty sure Adam, Adam Sandler's, Sandler's a, like it? a police officer uh. he's, and he's like they got framed him and he's, Jennifer he's Aniston a, he tells his wife he's a detective and his yeah. wife reads all these mystery like murder mystery novels and he's like, lying and she, then he's a police that, officer she thinks he's and, the one who did it yeah but then they go they go to Europe or wherever they go this and then they they're, in Europe. they're supposed to well the, wherever they're supposed to go they're yeah. supposed to go somewhere and whenever they get there the bus breaks down and some guy they met on the plane invites them on some cruise because he was talking to Jennifer Aniston obviously uh, oh, you would I would not talk bar. to her <laughs> he would, you would have too if you started a bar <laughs> yeah. and then they invite her to the boat and then the, the bus breaks down so like oh we gotta join him on the boat so then he's broke because he he, t- he tells her that he, he's a detective but he's not really a detective he's a police officer though but yeah he's and then not a detective. he just doesn't make that much money and then so he, they go on this and like so they have the best weekend ever or whatever yeah and basically it's him and his wife just getting a spark an old flame oh hell the yeah whole movie oh damn it's, yeah. a good, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good movie adam sandler movies always have the old the old family heartstring i don't know like romantic Waterboy, comedy though. Yeah, water yeah, boy yeah. was pretty funny Good movie. You can't say that was bad though. No, not at all. It was you, hilarious. If, I laughed. The old school. The old school. If you Adam name, Sandler. if you name a bad Adam Sandler movie before 2007, yeah. you're tripping. What's, yeah. all, what's the yeah. movie where he's like dumb and his dad's like super Punk rich? Billy Madison. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've that probably seen that movie really more than Gilmore. ten times. That's Those a are probably his top three movies: Happy Gilmore, Grown Ups. Billy Madison. Grown Ups was made after 2007, and that one's probably that one's top pretty good. 10. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess that's the top. But just Adam Sandler movies. There was a lot of good actors in that. Grown thing. Ups is funny because of Kevin James and yeah, Grown Ups too is even funny. Good actors that helped out Adam yeah. Sandler. In that. Those well, guys, because they're in every single movie. On that? On that set, like Shaggy. being one of the it, guys, like fucking it. around. I'd be the guy, and like you know, you you cut to the credits on the cameraman just cracking my shit. Yeah, I know. Like, What's the I guy's name? The short piece. one. Uh, like fat kind of. No, not fat. He's super short. Oh, he dates the old girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know his name. name. <laughs> yeah, I was. I would recognize if I heard do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's in all. Oh, he's in bench warmers. Yeah, he's in every single one. He's like the bully in bench warmers, but like the tough guy and like on the team. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen bench warmers? I have. The guy that always hits home runs, always. Gus. 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 I Gus. If I remember hearing If I name. pulled up Gus on Vince Itchy Walmart, Richie. You would see, you would know who I can't is. think of who it is right now. I'm I don't know why. Super sure short. Ah, con- uh, de- uh, fuck, man. I can't I know. His name. Hey, do you mind if I get another shot? Oh, my God. I was I'm about to go. While Nick's looking this up, I'm. Ask this in no, like 20 I was. Minutes. Oh, dude, oh, really? I'm about to go pee. <laughs> I'm going to join you. I, I got to right. go, too. Yeah, so well, actually, we'll, actually, we'll just go one answer. at a time. We'll go you one at a time. You called it first, so you, go, you got next sub out. I was then. I was about to say it, and then he started, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to cut anybody off anymore because I've been doing that. But And then he just he said, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I was like, I should have cut him off. <laughs> it's hard to find, like, a transition point. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm about to show you. Hey, the camera can actually see me now, so because Jared's tower Jared's ass isn't. <laughs> Here, you can like actually hey, overshadowing you know what this is. me. It'll be funny if you, he comes back and you just switch Gus spots and like no one acts sm- like. You know who he is? I can't think of the actor's name. <coughs> what might might say? Just look up the look up the actors in the movie, bro. I didn't search for that. I was just trying to give look up a picture. Know. Look up uh, Bench Warmers cast. I know be once the first you one. once you say it, I'm gonna be like, yeah. There's not a chance yeah. I know that guy's name. I've Rob Schneider. Rob, Rob Schneider. Is that right. it? He's right. He's right. He's right. As soon as I pulled that up, I thought he was got like done a... searching. I read it for like a split second. You already said it before. If, I if read you would have told me that, I would have thought he was like a Rick and Morty writer or something. That's what I'm I, saying. I wouldn't even. That had no oh, connection I'm to that so guy. I'm so bad with actors. I'm pretty good so with actors. So bad with actors. Same. I know Brad Pitt. Like, the other day. You know, the other day. Like, I, the other day. Joe Rogan. Like all people that are on TV like that. I struggle with that because I feel like I know a decent, I have a decent depth of knowledge just because my dad, my dad loves Disney World, my dad loves bowls of cereal at 11 p.m., and then he loves movies Thank and the you. Cowboys. And then one thing I grew up is Cowboys, bowls of cereal, so now I'm straight. And then, and then movies, so I know a decent amount of movies, but, and so I can call all these actors, but whenever I go to my girlfriend's house, she has not watched any good movie. She thinks like, she she likes Will Ferrell movies, but, oh, which is good, best. which is good, because Will Ferrell, my uncle hates Will Ferrell movies, and I just, I don't understand how he hates Will Smith and Will Ferrell. But if you hate, oh, Will, come Will on. Smith, Will Smith is like, is this Uncle Scott? Will Smith is the <laughs> best. Under, he's, yeah, it better uh, not be Uncle Scott. No, it's not Uncle Scott. Thank God, Uncle Scott probably loves Will Smith. 
I'll tell you that one. I don't know. He seems like the type of dude that would sit down and watch a good Will Smith. How do you not like Will Smith? Yeah, Will Smith How do you is the not best like dude. Either one of them, honestly. Will Smith, he th- he says because they play the same. All right, so he grew up in the '90s. Whenever Will Smith was in the French pr- French. Uh, that was Fresh the Prince best Bill TV Bel-Air. show ever, though. But I the thing is, I love that. his time, his his reasoning is that whenever he came up, he would do all these raps for like places that don't need rap songs and just to make money and not be a good artist. And then, so I kind of see that. But you can't, you can't. And then he tells me Will Will Ferrell plays the same role in every single movie. But I'm saying that's a dang funny role. Concussion. I, I haven't seen it. Oh, but yeah, very I different role. No, I'm talking Will Ferrell. I did want to see that. Oh, Will, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell oh, definitely plays the same Will Smith role. Like Will, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two oh, Wills. It's all good. All Two good. Wills. Yeah, Will I am. Right. <laughs> Will I am is the same guy in every song. Definitely get into Will Smith after this, though. Huh? Because Will Smith is amazing. Oh, Will Smith is amazing. Have I love. Have you seen I Am Legend? Have you seen The Pursuit yes. of Happiness? Holy shit. Yeah, when he hits the. When he hits the. class saw that. And when he's walking with the crowd and he finds. You know, the. I wrote this on Twitter, so don't quote me. So, but they said whenever he walked into the crowd and he started crying and like getting hella hype that he finally got the job, it was him walking into the crowd and then him finally becoming like one with the people. You know what I mean? Like, because he's like a cast out, he had all yeah, these yeah, yeah. things. And so when he walked into the crowd, it was metaphorically or symbolically him being one with the average people. And, but even though he grew up and, I mean, not grew up, but went out and, and made millions yeah. after that. He, he he didn't stop at getting the job. He made so much money. That's why they made uh, the movie about him. You're talking about the real life actor or like oh, the no, guy the real life, life the real life guy based around the pursuit of happiness. Oh, mm. that was based on a true story. Wasn't oh yeah. It? Oh yeah. I forget that all the time. That's the best story. That's why we watched it in language arts class. <laughs> all right. I was man. wondering that. Pee right. break time? <laughs> yeah. Steve's oh, got Steve's got to pee. <laughs> He's got to go potty. Uh, gotta poop. <laughs> anyway, though, Will Smith's scariest movie he was in at the time, I, I believed I watched oh, it in, like, fourth that. grade, I was I Am Legend. Those zombies at the time, they were, like, vampire zombies, so they were smart. They and were the like, dogs. Oh, my. Dude, when that the dog CGI died, was worth, I, like, 100 bucks. No. I Am Legend, to this day, I skip over the dog dying. That whole, like, five-minute scene, I skip over that, where he's hanging up from, like, he goes out for, like, whatever he does, his daily routine, goes out with his dog, Samson. Is that what it is? Samson's the dog's name? I don't remember. I believe it is. He goes out there, and, like, it's, like, dusk, and by the time, like, these zombies has moved his uh, mannequins, yeah. so which, like, is the scene of, like, oh, shit, the zombies are getting smarter. He gets, like, stuck in this trap. And like the sun's going down, and he's like hanging upside yeah. down. Yeah. So Will Smith. Oh shit! I remember yeah, this Will scene. Smith killed, I believe, the main zombie that you see always screaming, and then all of a sudden all the zombies come in. I believe he killed like his wife, that zombie's wife, or he had that zombie's wife in testing. Do you remember the whole like scene of him testing his like experiments on these zombies, trying to turn them back? I think that was his wife because that the zombie, zombie had a wife. Dude, the so the yeah, z- I didn't the know was that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I know, I know, I know. I may, I may be wrong here, but that zombie, no, that like main zombie that you always see screaming. He's yeah. like the main one. Uh, Will Smith either killed the, the girl or like took her. He did something oh. to like piss off piss that off like that guy. zombie, and like they all of a sudden got fucking smart as shit. So one night he was out, he got like booby trapped. Like he literally the trap. He trapped his, the main zombie's wife on, like, this trap. And then that he dude, fell into it. more into the movie, that zombie ended up trapping Will Smith, the same trap that Will did on his wife that Will has back at his home and testing, like, trying to turn her back. So he's up. He gets, like, shit on by his own trap, basically. And now it's, like, all those zombie dogs. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. And Samson. And Samson just gets wrecked. And he doesn't. Well, he gets bit, and then the, he's yeah. like, this, the, "The thing is, the dog thinks he's fine." Yeah, yeah. That's the thing is. <laughs> so Will Smith at the time has his dog, and like I, I don't know even know if it's in his bunker at the time, but his dog hasn't turned yet, and he waits till he's just dog, laying with him. Yeah, he's got the, he's, him. The dog's like whining, you know, because he got bit. He's hurt. Have you never seen this? And like he's no, holding. No, I've seen it. He's oh. holding on to the dog, like doesn't want to kill it at all. 
but as soon as it turns, he's you just, just like... You just hear, oh. like, it, the camera goes up really yeah, slowly. Yeah, And then it gets to pass the dog. You hear the and then dog you hear the dog start, start going, like, yeah. like and growling, then, and then he just and chokes it out. Uh, a tear setting down my <laughs> eye. <laughs> but what I was getting at is, when we were younger, those uh, zombies, like, me and my friend literally, like, he had samurai swords at the time. Uh-oh. Fucking <laughs> Colton Kessler. <laughs> He brought those in the damn room after we watched the Just whole in movie. Because we were like, you do shit, you? these fucking vampire zombies. Something tells, I don't know. Something <laughs> tells me they weren't real. Just little yeah, just little kids with their imagination. You know how it goes after a scary movie being younger. Yeah, I feel like oh, yeah. you just think that shit's like going to happen. Build a, quick, build a quick pillow for it. Yeah, seriously. Oh. We literally got a samurai swords. We're like, we're going to be fucked. <laughs> but like, those zombies were probably the scariest shit as a little kid. I used, I used to think like in times like that, when it was real dark and I stayed in the same spot that no one could see me. Oh. But like my parents would come to my room and they'd find me. If they were mad, they found me. But if not, they're just like, oh, where's Steve? Dude, and I, I was in like, my, I was in like, my oh. sister's closet when I was in trouble because why would they look in my sister's closet? Not my room. The, I was the, smarter than that. The evil monsters would be like, that's his sister's room. We're not going in there. Oh, yeah. They didn't find me until I came out. <laughs> I'd, I had a bunk bed with the futon underneath when I was little. The bunk bed was too much work when you're too tired, and I slept on that futon so many nights. Oh man! And I and horrible. The, I, that's probably why my back's so bad. Now I think about it, that's that's enlightenment, enlightenment <laughs> moment right there. Is that what you say? Yeah. Epiphany. 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 I definitely just had an epiphany. <laughs> definitely just had an epiphany. There it is. And do you? Uh, oh man. Were you always spooked in the bottom bunk, thinking them? The oh no! Men were gonna get that to you? bottom bunk was lumpy. That bottom bunk. It was like <laughs> one of those matted down like futon mattresses Seen some miles oh my I, it was a used food it was my neighbor they were giving it away it was my sister's birthday and then they were giving away this futon and then my parents were like do you want this futon because I, I was outgrowing my bed obviously because yeah. i'm a, i was a grown boy oh, yeah. everybody, everybody at my church told me and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh age 13 no it wasn't even 13 it was i was like probably like eight or nine and I got this futon, and it was the best thing. You could you could hide around the back of the futon, build pillows up oh, in it, and then build your own fort, pop out with your toy guns, bow, bow, boom. and then pop back underneath. Damn, you're fucked. You had the best toy then. Yeah. The best fort, I guess. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. And you could you could hang sheets from the top bunk and make a fort with oh, that. Oh, yeah. Good God <laughs> Almighty was I set. It was – it was. I Steve could, was king of the hill. No yeah, one could I know. fuck with Steve. And if I didn't want anybody to talk to me, go up on the top bunk, and then, then no one wants to come up and try to – Hey, how you Steve, doing? Steve, what's up, bro? Man, peaked in nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little off topic, but whenever I, it's weird how you say a certain word and it makes you think of something else. That's what like, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's bringing back to you were describing your bunk bed and you're like, yeah, this bunk bed was lumpy. I thought of oatmeal. Oh yeah. I don't know why I thought of oatmeal, and it's funny because if you say like perky. You think yep. of boobs? Yeah. You say, <laughs> I just said yep. If you say penetrate, <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell you. <laughs> you think of penetrate? It's it's sex. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It's sending. Like who's who's describing anything as perky besides tits? All right. Th- right I'm gonna say right. I'm gonna say one word. I want you each to just go off the top of your head and say the same word. All right. Go for it. Right. Sloppy. Goes first. Would you say floppy or loppy? He sloppy. Said sloppy. I was. I don't know. I was thinking blowjob. I think of head. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I was thinking sloppy I Joe. W- <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> of I'm kind of hungry. I, was I, I need dinner. Too, that was a good one. I need dinner. I didn't sloppy say Joe. It. it depends on how hungry you are. How do these things go out? I'm definitely thinking <laughs> sloppy Joe. Moist. Is All right. Another one. Nope. I'm high. Not saying moist. <laughs> moist. All right. Ready. Uh, who's next up? Who's next up? Uh, triangular. Triangle. I fucking don't know. I think of fractal. Home- I think of homework when you say that. I think uh, of the triangle when you say triangular. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good sign. Do yeah. <laughs> geometry. <laughs> yeah, geometry. <laughs> What'd you say? Mountain. This isn't I working as I, good as I thought. This would be great. I thought this would be great. Say like shit like that. Oh. I'm thinking of mountain right now. Like, <laughs> no, that honestly, you said mountain. I think of peaks and valleys, like you see on the screen. They they oh, call yeah. that like whenever it goes really high up, they call it a peak, and then whenever it comes back down, they call it a valley. Oh yeah. yeah. So I, love, I don't know why that's what I. I love of. the mountain ranges. I thought of Colorado. <laughs> mountain ranges. That. I just thought of like the Alps. I don't know. Maybe but I'm looking at the map. Maybe you you said you've been to Colorado. Yeah. Or you said you there. both did. You guys go to Pikes Peak. Yeah, and they yeah, sell the I'm Mile High Donuts. Sure we have been I never speak. had a Mile High Donut. Yeah, but no. that's I'm the biggest the finesse of all time. They're like five dollars, yeah. and it takes like twenty cents I to make a Pikes donut. I went to Pikes Peak when I was probably like seven. But <laughs> it's at that altitude; it must must taste different, you know. 
Bro, speaking of altitude, joke, tastes different. Have you guys ever been on a flight and <laughs> airplane food? Am I right? No, no. Well, been on a flight and got like a sh- shooter or like a actual alcohol. On no, the flight. no. Well, I t- I turned twenty one in September, and then in like October, like tenth, we went down to uh, Knoxville for a Tennessee game because my dad went there. Oh, good for but, you. But uh, yeah, so we I flew out there to meet him out there, and uh, with Johnny Knoxville. No, <laughs> no, Knoxville, Tennessee. Sorry, bad joke. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, anyway, I went out there and uh, on the way, it was like a connecting flight. I had to go two flights to get there. I went to Chicago first, and then from Chicago to Knoxville, I was like, "Damn, I'm 21 now. Might as well just be a savage." How much and is so that? So I d- well, <clears throat> the first time I bought it, I was like, "She's like, can I get you a drink?" And I was like, "I'll get it. I'll do a uh, Tito's orange juice." <laughs> And she's like, all right, sure, th- sure thing. Switching you know how up. the flight attendants are like, oh, yeah, sounds good. To, sounds good to me. And they, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so that she made it, and I was just, like, waiting for the damage. I was like, how much is it? Whatever. And she just, like, gave it to me, and she just moved her little cart. And I was just like, bet. And I drank it, and I was like, I was by myself, so not super proud of it. But <laughs> I was by myself, and I was, like, just, like, listening to music. And I drank it, and I was like, damn, I'm actually kind of buzzed that. from that. Because apparently, I mean, like, it's a thing, like, when you're uh, super high altitude, you're, like, blood's thinner or something. Yeah. So, like, oh, it yeah. takes less for any anything to affect you. Ooh. And well, so, like, I did it again on the way home, and they still didn't charge me. Or the second time, they charged me, and they're like, she's, she goes, all right, that'll be $13 or some shit. And I was like, damn. But I can't, you can't back out. You have to be a baller. <laughs> no, so I'm just like, back of course out. You it's already 13. Drink it. Of course it's 13. <laughs> well, the right, second right. time, I was like, right. are you sure it's not 15, ma'am? <laughs> so I hand her my card, and she hand her my card, and she just like tries swiping it like eight times on this weird ass like Southwest You're plug-in just... thing, and I'm just like, damn, that sucks. But I was like, whatever, I, I'm just gonna buy it. And so she just kept swiping, swiping. She's like, not working, and I was like, uh, is that gonna be a machine issue? Or <laughs> I was like, this should have money on it. We're all good. And she's like. Um, yeah, the machine just isn't working, so I'm just going to comp comp this. Like, just don't even worry about it. It's just taking too long. And I was like, yeah, I won't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make sure to write it down, and yeah, I'll pay like, back Are later. you sure? <laughs> I have quarters in my backpack. No, but it was hype, and essentially what I was getting at is, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a law that, like, you have to charge it a little bit more because, like, a shooter when you're that but high you're up in the sky and yeah when it's like two yeah exactly it's like way more than you're wanting mm-hmm. and so you can't charge like a normal three dollars or two fifty you don't you don't have been cheesing about this whole time you've been talking about airplanes what oh god this this whole time we're all talking to the microphones and you can just hear this is your captain speaking <laughs> <laughs> this is all i can think about because we're all in the microphones it's all i've heard this entire time i'm be hitting some turbulence <laughs> there it is <laughs> The Kill that Peel was episode. crystal clear. <laughs> <laughs> that episode we watched of Which Kill and Peel. Oh, yeah. Kill and Peel. <laughs> what is it? Kill. Key. You said Kill. Key. Kill Bill? Kill, right? Key. Key and Peel. South Galifianakis go. No joke, the first time I watched that show, I think I, I <laughs> thought it was Keel and Peel as well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's Some, confusing sometimes. But we've been over right. this a few times. Tongue twister? So. This is ongoing. So. This is ongoing. Say that argument. again for the people in the back, what you said before Jordan started the... Who's the okay? So due date, you know that movie? Oh, Zach Galifianakis. Oh, oh! He's been pregnant. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what I'm clapping to. I don't know what I'm clapping to. I had is. trouble saying that before. It it just Dude, was, that's a oh weird God. fucking last name. I remember what I'm watching saying. The Who the it? fuck looks at that and is like, oh, I can pronounce that? This is, <laughs> this is it. This is oh this God. video. From hey, Paul. in my defense here, I was a little drunk. All right, but let's not put that on the speaker. Zach Galifianakis, go. Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is like an ongoing. Like, <laughs> Damn, that minutes. was right on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Zach Galifianosis. Zach Galifianosis. That was like the most crystal clear version he said in like 25 minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah dude. He said bad. that and looked at me in the face all the time. Zach Galifianakis. I was like, all right. Bitch, Good drop shit. the mic while I'm on it. it Sound like his words. All right, my bladder stairs. is expanding <coughs> at a concerning rate. Yeah, like I, don't, I don't know if we're gonna know what to do without the host here. Yeah, no, we're good. We'll figure it out. Should we just all stare at the camera? Guys, Damn. he left us a pocket knife or pliers. Let's figure it out. It's a nice little setup in here, though, for sure. Just go, just go. Hey, boys. He's got all the shit set so up. So what I was thinking boys, is the next topic. We're off the record. <laughs> Cut the cord. <laughs> Behind the scenes of this podcast. Behind the scenes. 
Damn. Hey, what Jordan Fisher, what a guy, right? So oh, I got to piss. This is what I got to do. <laughs> Too I've bad Jordan went first. I've been holding it in. Not yeah. going to lie. Dude, Should you know have. what's funny is that every time – I've probably moved this like 30 times. Same. And every time I move it, I'm like, they're going to be like, what the fuck? The whole damn time, I'm like, too close. <laughs> All right. Too far. The thing Perfect. Is, Dude, I, the thing is, I've been just looking at the camera like. I put these down pretty good. Is this, and is this good? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope hey, he looks at this Nick. later and just starts dying Nick. laughing. We got headphones on, man. Dude, the damn camera's on. Man, are you gonna bust my eardrums? <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the quietest thing you could have done in the <laughs> mic from that close. Oh my god, man. Ah ha ha. Do. Do. I hope he cuts this part Hey, jump in. <laughs> what if he keeps this shit on? You have to do it too from the from Wolf of Wall Street. Ready? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. What, what's going on, man? You have to. Uh, you have to beat. You're not gonna beat your chest. We all beat. I'm crying. I hope he looks at this later and just like cheesing his hard as fuck. That's it's it's it's, happen. it's acquired taste. I'm apparently. a piss after this. We're, we'll save this. This is a special feature for uh, Jordan. <laughs> this is bloopers real. Yeah. Bloopers real. Wow, man. I think All the right. next Nick, five minutes. Nick, I'm gonna. Cut. Hey, Nick, from the next five minutes, <laughs> I'm your interviewer. You have to I'm interview. Deep All inside right. Them, deep inside <laughs> the mind. Deep inside I, the mind. I'm ready. <laughs> deep inside the mind of Nick Ball. All right. <laughs> hey. Just definitely see on an SNL, just like. All right. <laughs> just the fuck. Hey, hey. Dude, Dude, look at fuck it up, bro. Look what you. What the? Tighten that up. Hey, Nick's breaking say, shit on. Say your best joke into the mic right now. Damn, Steve, your mama's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ugly, bro. Hey, he said, he said, we were playing, we were, we were yeah. he was over playing golf by himself earlier, and you no, said we your mom NHL. jokes to the announcer, we but we weren't NHL. even, I wasn't even near him anywhere. NHL. No, no, it wasn't, it was, we were playing, we were playing, he was playing golf by himself, because I was getting ready to play him in golf, which he's trash and at, he by the way. he was talking shit to the announcer. Like six minute bloopers for you. <laughs> yeah. When you're that was, 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 I'm I'm crying over you here. Should, you, right should, now. you should you I actually noticed a tear in your eye. Yeah. And I, was, I, I was like, I'm not gonna call. What? Yeah, you got some tears going. I'm He's crying, talking about I'm some deep seated <laughs> issues with him and his mom while you're gone. <laughs> so she what if upstairs. it was just all serious when he walked like back and looked at it three corners? And was like, yeah, guys, I'm super Damn. depressed. Like they this talked is about gone. addiction for like 15 minutes. There, bro. <laughs> it's gone. It's like weird dark. Oh shit. man, no. You definitely. How about you, you go piss? This video it'll be fun. I'll piss after the spear. All I had right. to piss as soon as you had to piss. So I was like, damn, all right, whatever. <laughs> still got a tear, left eye. No, it's, it's kind of throwing me off. Camera can't We're see saving it. it there for Jamie? the camera. Nice. More dramatic scene. It's nice. just making me mo- like uh, feel uncomfortable, like I should no, be sorry, crying dude. about something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your right eye. I don't know what he laughed. Well, I just, felt one there. That's why I watched it. What, what made you laugh that hard? Dude, I don't remember. I, I think, think it was just him like getting really close to the mic and making noises. He just got really loud. He, tr- <laughs> he tried to like. He tried to like. I made an SNL scene. Is what I did. <laughs> he, he, he like he went to go do something really loud in the mic and get really close and just lightly blowed in it. He just went. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not what made me cry though. Oh, oh well. my bad, my bad, Nick. No, it's the, he's, right. I said, Nick, tell me a joke right now. And he said, he goes, Steven, your mom is so... Or what you, what, take it away, Nick. Give me give me the rest of your mama joke. Take goes, it away. Nick, just pretend it's me and you. Like, I'm intervening you. Like, tell me the funniest joke you I can. I just want to hear the joke. There I go. All right. Your mama's so fat. And then that's all I said. Really, <laughs> I just like, want to hear the joke you Your mama's so fat jokes, like, probably the last week. Me? Probably the last two weeks, yeah. I have? Oh, you're joking. Yeah. You're like, joking. Well, there was probably like two you're nights. You're joking. <laughs> Listen, I'm not wrong here. There's I said two I said nights where today. you didn't stop saying your mama's so fat. No, that's at that's at least on the car ride from Oklahoma. That is cap. No, I was saying that don't oh. get me started on that. Him I was definitely I'm not gonna lie, him and Maggie, probably no. for a good fifteen minutes, it was just Steve saying, Your mama's so fat. <laughs> she sits down in the fucking theaters and she's sitting by everyone. <laughs> and like he said that for like the next ten minutes of no, your mama jokes. And I'm just looking at Allie. I'm like, 
hey, the more jokes he says, just keeps getting more funny. So you know, no, so the thing is, the thing is, so the thing I'm is, with Nick, so since hours. we're on the topic, since we're on the topic, uh-oh, every time we uh-oh. sat in the car, shit, every time we sat in the car, Nick had this little niche he found where he, or niche, oh. niche, <laughs> niche, yeah, where he, where, where I would, I would know if I was niche. good on the ox because whenever I would, I would base it off of how he was judging it, but he wouldn't tell me how he was judging it. He'd just <laughs> sitting there with his hands and wheels 10 and 2 the entire way. And then, and then whenever he, Whenever he uh, heard something he like, he just he just slowly or no, it was like right here. He slowly shift his hand up, hit the up button on the volume, <laughs> <laughs> and then go back down and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and I was in the backseat. I was like, <laughs> that was the entire worst. way to. That's and then, very true. And then I play like, and I play like, uh, what's it called? Some childish Gambino song from the R and B album. Oh, shit, and then he just song. be. <laughs> his and hands go back. <laughs> He, he called me out on it for oh. a few times. I was like, "Yeah, I like the fucking and then, song." And if he really likes it, he'd, he'd go. He'd go. I go. Oh. I would go five <laughs> notches up real quick, and then I look back and be like, "Let's go, <laughs> let's go, Steve." <laughs> I'd probably take it up like twenty miles per hour too. Just yeah. like, fuck, let's speed now. I love this song. There's one song I put on that just full out skipped, and I've never had that happen with Nick <laughs> in one time in my life. It was like, it was, but but like with twelve. How was this twelve hours song of, ever? If I skipped it, twelve hours of music. I, I'm, he's bound to skip one song. Yeah, we pulled up a Joe Rogan on the way back when the I girls were asleep. Myself. When the girls were asleep. <laughs> podcasts are nice. Me and Klein turned on the <coughs> podcast and talked for like if forty-five was, minutes about politics, like essentially the bullshit we were doing before the podcast started. <laughs> talking about if just I was like driving, stuff, and then I hope they talk like that in politics. All of a sudden, it's like Tori wakes up. She said something. She's like. She said something, and we were like, how long have you been up? Like, I'm really sorry if you heard us just TED Talk for, like, an hour. <laughs> I would have driven off the road by accident if you yeah, put I on know, the podcast I while I was driving. <laughs> they're, they're, like, good. I love listening to them when I'm high or whatever. But if I'm driving, I want music that's going to make me be, like, I feel like I can speed. I'm no, invincible dude. right For now. me, you listen to one like, podcast, and you just get lost into it, and you're like, hell yeah, or agree, disagree, whatever, listen. And then all of a sudden, it's an hour and a half past the time where you started it. I love that. Rather than listening Not to like me. two whole albums of music, and I'm the same way. You know I'm, I'm the same way. I'll, I'll never just do podcasts from door to door, but definitely a podcast or two. Keep things fresh after picking up some right. gas. Or I something. feel like when it, like whenever I drive yeah, from I'm Springfield to St. Louis, yeah. my approach is music podcast, music yeah. podcast. I switch off yeah, like same. the entire time. Same, po- like I'll listen to a couple podcasts <clears throat> here and there. Maybe pause it, turn some music on or something, but. It's usually like music when I'm pulling in and music when I'm pulling out, but highways like Same. podcast zone. I feel like I feel like my music changes by fi- by how far into the drive I am. Like certain times in the drive, really? I have a specific type of music I listen to, but it's never by purpose. Really? No. And it's like if I'm driving to Dallas, mm-hmm. I'll be. When we got to Dallas, I was playing. Uh, I was playing Thunderstruck. I was playing all uh, hype songs. Oh yeah, and then and then, but whenever I'm driving to St. Louis, I start off playing like Highway to Hell or something like that, and I'll start on the highway and just be start warming up a little bit, and then I'll be hype, and then I'll be like, and then I'll get into it, and I'll start listening to some R and B and stuff, and get real, get real, just, and then by the time I get to St. Louis, I'm listening to Feeling Whitney when I'm pulling in my neighborhood, and I'm just like, man. Am I glad to be home? Yeah. Or some, or some, or some Bob Seger night moves. Oh, night moves is a good. Bo- night. But who's night. Bob Seger? Bob oh. Seger bullet, uh, and Silver the, Bullet Band. And the, it's and the Silver Bullet Band. Yeah. It's it's two separate uh, entities. Damn, could you imagine being like Steve McLean and his band? Like that'd be Marky wild Mark and the to have bunch. like being named. Your name is the band of, or the name of the band of like six people. I'd be like, sorry, fellas. <laughs> like, and I need uh, to like completely overshadow you, but um, what was it? Uh, like Billy Joel, yeah. Billy Joel, essentially isn't one dude. Queen. He, Queen is in the name. Oh, we, we could we could start a band called Ball. <laughs> <laughs> we already live at the ball. Oh my God, that kid, man, he's a cheese ball. Oh my God, if I could tell you like, if I could, I don't want him to get mad, but like I'll show you some stuff after the podcast. There's some some I don't know some stuff he's done, man. He just he just I every time. I think I understand Nick. He just throws me a curveball. That's what it, everybody that describes him has a very, very interesting way of describing, you know, <laughs> like another person. Yeah. I've known him since like, I was in third grade. Like the past. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He and I were go way back. We went to the same elementary school. I just met him, and I didn't know any of my roommates before I moved into college. Like, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know Jared. I couldn't. If I saw him, I'm like, 
Who's this ginger? Who's this ginger <laughs> looking at me? Yeah, I know. Better not use that hard R, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, no Nick Balls. Ginger. Nick, <laughs> Nick, Balls a, Nick Balls a cheese ball, man. He, he's, uh, there, there used to be like a Nick Ball quotes Twitter account <laughs> that me and some of my friends ran back in the day. It's just, oh my god! It's just something I don't know. Like one day I walk, I looked over. Everybody's uh, like sitting in, in one group, and I look over, and I have this picture on my phone of him just slamming a, like a full thing of apple juice, like a two liter of apple <laughs> juice, just like two no man. cups, no cups, <laughs> <laughs> straight face. Did he finish stuff. it? No, no, he no. just downed a fuck and then of it. I'm, I'm gonna pull this video up. <laughs> actually, You're like, what are you this doing, bro? You thirsty? He's like, I like apple juice. <laughs> That's no, all no. he says. Yeah, it's some shit like that, man. If you guys had to describe him in one sentence, what would it be? Hmm. It can be one word. Yeah, I would say. What the hell? I would. G- <laughs> my word for Nick would be curious. He's always curious about stuff. He's always wondering. I like it. There he is. There he is. One word to describe you. I'm which you got? my favorite video. I said. Here it is. I said curious. I like that word a lot. I like that. I like He's that. He's a curious man. He's always asking questions. Here it is. Asking questions to himself. Here's this video. It's, it's Jared playing the guitar, and then Nick's been in the background playing Guitar Hero, and you can't tell who's going harder. Oh, God. this is so funny. This is a bad video. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing on this. You were getting like, it, man. You were like getting it. Going, yeah. for the, he going for the star I power. Had my, I had my star power, and it wasn't working, so I was like... I was crying you know, about the movie. I was like thinking it's something with the guitar. It was such good it timing work. on both of them. And I, over to my right, I'm not noticing because, you know, I'm going too hard on Guitar Hero, you know. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm doing this, and I hear Steve start cracking up. I'm I, like, it has to be me. I had tears coming out of <laughs> my eyes for like 15 minutes. Looking like Nick Ball. <laughs> I'm literally like, damn. I had the guitar. I was going hard. I was like. <laughs> and he's like, it wasn't even uh, like it wasn't even like a really into it. It was like an angry. Cause he yeah, he looked, he looked annoyed because it wasn't working. I was like, I fuck? thought you were just like getting it. I thought you were oh, getting yeah. it, dude. I played. I I had a friend come over the other day, and he had a VR, like one of those virtual those reality headsets. Yeah. And I forgot the name of it, but it was very similar to Oculus. that game. Beat Saber. Beat Saber. That's oh. what it was. That's what it was. My roommate last year had one. He played the same shit. He'd play it's like fun. he'd play like expert level, and it'd be just like face melter songs like boom boom, like those type of songs, and he'd just be sitting there just going, <laughs> it would, it would wilding out, and I'd always try it. It was and I'd suck at it. I don't understand. I'm so it. bad. I sucked, and I just like I would I'd look like I hit it, and just keep giving me X's every time. And he's like, mm. you have to swing through it, bro. And I was like, I'm not. What? You can play it and with this. He would finish it, and it'd just be like dripping sweat, and he'd be like. Good luck with that. If you want to try it, you can. I'm just like, here's geez. my sweaty virtual disgusting. reality yeah. headset. Give me like f- fucking the thing wipes. About it, it's like he had it on recall memory. It was muscle memory. Oh and he yeah. Was, and he was so fluid. Like like you, you think about the great athletes. He you think about his Bo eyes. Jackson playing sports. You think about Deion Sanders the, cutting back on a on a he comeback was, that he was, he was the, way faster than the receiver. He was the Kobe jumping, of beat saber. He was, he was jumping the passes before they were even thrown. He was. Yeah, <laughs> he it did was. look hella fluid. Usually people are like swinging through it, and, and he then, was just and like that was definitely his exercise of the day. That so. was his niche, bro, for no, sure. He found you it. Said he it found earlier. it. Niche. Niche. What niche? if he just starts niche. directing traffic? He's just, just like, like he could. Just that like would be crashed. I'll tell you what. Everywhere. I was gonna say if he did like beat saber, some people would die. <laughs> it would just, just be like. Some <laughs> 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 what would you do if you gave him a four eight intersection? And everybody's just standing there, and the dude just. Just tripping. <laughs> yeah, I know. That it's game like, was which fun, way do though. I, go? I could definitely see myself getting into it. There there was another game called Creed, like the boxing movie Creed. Oh, oh I nice. played that. Yes. That game would tire me the fuck out, bro. Really? So we'd the go in there, we would, they shit. have like a campaign <coughs> or whatever, but we would always just do multiplayer. And so every multiplayer game ever, there's always like those homies that are like, I've been playing Creed since it came out on november 15th at midnight you know what i'm saying like guys who are so fucking good at it and so we get in there and like it was like with most uh vr games it's like you don't move anywhere physically you just like point somewhere and like teleport there and so like you'd start the game and you would touch gloves and then i would turn and run and i'd turn back and i'd just see him just like 
like just flying towards me, about to beat the shit out of me. It was such a fun game. Is though. it online or is yeah, it against computer? No, it's against like homies. And then you could oh, talk wow. shit after the match too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was so funny. Oh, that's First exciting. Time I, I know. That shit, someone literally had their hand behind their back and they're just going like, bro. Back when you're in it though, my ass. When so it's so weird because like I think the thing that VR nails because like it's one thing to have a screen close to your eyes right, and you're like, right. oh, I'm there. But when your peripherals are covered too. And that's all it is, or your peripherals are involved right, with it. Yeah, exactly. Then you're like, what the fuck? Because mm-hmm. you, you think you're actually fucking there, and you look around and you're <coughs> you lift your legs up, and they actually move with you, and you're like, damn, it was it, pretty cool. It takes you to another place. It honestly does. It's kind of scary how literally you take one sense away. Like when you put the headphones into, you're fucked because then you're, you think you're for sure there. The like but when you take ass game yeah you one or two senses. Or Mm-mm. fuck oh, with, and you think that, you're in a completely no, different Starlight. location. We put a lot of people on that. It's kind of crazy if you think about you it. You need to check out the game Gorn. G O R N. Shouts out Micah G Nicola because he has the Oculus at home. And he's got like sensors. He he. he the one of the rooms he he lives with his parents, and then because he's an electrician, he's just he's still yeah. in the apprenticeship. Yeah. And so uh, he's got the sensor set up in his basement from the ceiling, and then it's like a 360 type thing. Like, when you turn, you turn all the way around and stuff. Oh. And, like, you move around with the thing. But, like, it's, like, this very cartoony game. And uh, Wait, is it where you fight homies and, like, rip their legs off oh and my. shit? You yeah. fight it no, and you I've get, like, weapons. It, it's, like, yeah. hammers. And they're, like, all coming at you. like... Yeah, yeah, you're in, like, a coliseum <laughs> or some all, shit. They all walk to you really slowly. And all the people in the crowd are, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, like... It's, like... I couldn't... I probably... I listened to myself. I couldn't hit that more spot on, honestly. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> it's not Look exactly... The game. Look the game. It's, like... It's, like... <laughs> well, it's, like Minecraft. You, it's, it's, it's eerily similar. Yeah. No, I've seen that. It looks hella fun. And it's just, like, you can do ignorant shit, like, rip their arms off and hit the other homies with their arms. And like weird cartoony oh, stuff. And every time it's I go fucked. over there, yeah, I know, but it's, it's funny. Fucked. It's so hilarious because you get like the, the 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 like the weapons are very rubbery. Like so, whenever you hit them, uh. like the like the hammer would be like, yeah, like, no, like, it's kind of fun. And, oh, it is, okay. and it's like, and it's like you're you're literally swinging and like you'll throw some like. Uh, you'll hit somebody, they'll drop their weapon, you'll catch it and yeah. hit them with it, and it's just like, dude, it, that's the other it's, game. Have you ever played the one? I don't know the name of it. It's some weird thing, oh, but oh. it's like all black and white. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. And it's, it's like a time tra- time trial game where you go in there and it's like there's different levels. And like every time there's people going to kill you or whatever, they're like four computers or some shit that start it's in different one. spots every time. And then like if you don't move, no one moves. But as soon as you move your arm, like they'll all move a little bit. And then like when you stop, they'll not move. And then if you move again, they'll all keep going towards you and like start shooting at you, you can again. Dodge bolts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but like they don't move if you don't move. And so like you'll sit there for a second and there'll be some shit around and you can pick it up and throw it at them or like block creepy, a though. bullet. It's cool though because it's like I thought it was kind of it's creepy. one of those things where you finish it and you're like, oh, I could do that so much better. <coughs> or you die again and you're did like, you, fuck, restart. Did you restart. play the story mode? Uh, maybe I don't Jeez, know. I Clients played, had it. And I played, played it for a minute. I had it on my Xbox. I was like, I played it at my friend's house, and I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to see if it's, like, yeah. on the Xbox Marketplace because it's the same thing regardless. Yeah. But you're just not doing it by yourself. You're not, like, literally aiming the gun with yeah, your bare hand. Yeah, it's sick, dude. And, like, when you're aiming the gun, that sucks because I'm so bad with this because you're not looking down the side of a gun. You're looking down the side of a virtual gun. Yeah. And on the game, the gun could be like this, and you have to, like, figure out how to, yeah. like, aim it. I know, I missing. suck at throwing things with the, with the controllers because it's, like, it's usually a button you, like – have to hold to grab something and then you super have to hot. let go yeah that's probably the name super of it super hot because it's like whenever you finish the level it's like super yeah hot, yeah super yeah super hot and it's like <laughs> and it just says that over and over you should definitely you check that never out never heard of it i think it's one it's like one that's either super popular or that most of them like come with that game and it's like or something in the, in the spoil alert uh jordan fisher podcasters uh <laughs> at the end of the game you um you basically like your job is to break into this database and you're given a body and you're like you can freeze in time and stuff like that when you make it through yeah your final goal and it's like the whole time like between missions you get put in like this cage and then like all the people around you shooting at you they're like you're a dog and stuff Damn, like that i and never like, saw that oh, jesus man Whoa. and they're just like and they're just like dogging you and they're just like they're just like you're our prisoner and you won't get off the game and then you keep coming back we tell you to leave this is not a game and at the end of the mission uh like halfway through the mission you walk up to yourself at the computer playing the game and you punch yourself and then you wake up 
in the game again somewhere else and they said you know that hurt didn't it you know that's not a game and at the end of the game you're what supposed the to go fuck? yeah i've yeah. never heard of this this at seems the, meta as at, at, yeah i know it's, it's creepy and then at the end of the game you're supposed to <laughs> it says game, it says it for free life. yourself from your prison you know what to do and then you're like walking like you see the person's house that's like the main character throughout the game and then you walk back in and then every bad guy's a red person and you're supposed to deal with the red person, and then you just see yourself red sitting at the computer, and you have to shoot him. Jeez, that's And you become part dark. of the game. Yeah, and then you can, like, go from yourself, and you can spawn into other people. Like, you can take over their body. It's it's, Damn. But everything's, like, glass. Like, yeah. everything in the game is, like, glass. Like, the people are glass. I was about when to say, I hope them. we're talking about the same game. No, because no. all I've ever played is the bullshit where you go through the, like, little levels as fast download as you can. Download it. No, I'm going to download it on my Xbox. I want you to play it. It's, Damn. It's, it's, I thought it was just a, a VR called? game. It's like it, it's like some Black Mirror stuff. It like, sounds seen, like, like it. Some that's metal. what I was thinking whenever you it's, said that. It's like when I was playing it, I was I was watching Black Mirror. I was watching the uh, what's what's it Bandersnatch? called? Bandersnatch. No, isn't the, that the name of the st- one where you pick the Striking Vipers? Don't get uh, me started on that one. Though. <laughs> that's you watch Striking <laughs> Vipers. Yeah, you seen that one? What? Which one is that? The, the video the game one where he and his friend get on the video game and one gets it, like a girl character and they start fucking each other yes 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 i've seen that that was a weird that's one. an interesting concept i think that i watched that with the girl and I, I was just like uh i watched it with three homies and then whenever Rex. i got home he's like you trying to hop on the game i was like, <laughs> 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 I was like time, time out, out. <laughs> yeah there you go chill yeah no that one threw yeah. me for a loop that miley cyrus one was weird too Did you oh see that one? yeah i think it was iffy. Their new season iffy. was like a little. I feel like they think they're, what's the word like, they kind of set the bar too high for and themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, and it was yeah, the it was definitely. the Avenger that they made on the Striking Vipers too. It wasn't even like oh. some random homie. It was it was uh, Dar- uh the wing it, homie. The wing homie. He's, yeah, yeah. They paid they paid probably good guap for him to be on there. And, and Miley Cyrus. Definitely, yeah, joking. Definitely. They probably paid a nice penny oh, for them to be on there. Falcon. Falcon Something is Falcon. It was Falcon. Falcon. It was the and uh, he's uh, new Ant Captain Man, America. Uh, yeah, he's an Ant Man yeah. too. Who's you know how many not not my Ma- Captain America like uh, tweets I saw after I saw that they said hashtag not my Captain America. I'm like, Chris relax. Evans had nothing to do relax. with that. <laughs> no, no, because he's because Chris Evans at the end of Endgame gave him the shield. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right, and then the, right. and that was That's after Endgame came about. out and people were yeah. just like hashtag not my uh, Captain America. And I was just like. Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. It's it's not that deep. It's yeah, not that I know. deep. That was Let this I traditionally be. like Black Mirror though. I I always think like that anyway. I'll I take like some Black shit Mirror. that I see like happening, like I don't know, social media, which has been going on for a minute, but shit like that and I'll be like, "Damn, what if in 20 years this happens or like this happens cuz we can do it too much." Oh, yeah. And that's exactly what Black, Black Mirror, Mirror makes does. me yeah. think all the time. There's so much Same. shit that they they go into, like law enforcement, if law enforcement gets too big or if uh, what's, know, what's it? Don't hang the DJ or uh, don't don't shoot the DJ or something like that. Where the guy I know the, the g- name of the episode. I don't remember what happens in the episode. Though. Where the guy where the guy uh goes on his website or goes on a website and it's like child child pornography. Oh and the guy, no, that one's uh, I know what you're talking about. It's it's not. It, it, it don't hang the DJ. It's like something like that. I, I don't know. It was something it, similar. But it was like it was like he had to do all these tasks because or else they were gonna send it out to everyone yeah. in his contacts that he that one video was of him. Super realistic. What it was, was I just porn, watched it like last he was week. Doing. He like got on his computer and he killed a guy. He got on his computer Rock. and saw that there was like a virus because his sister used it or some shit. That's like what the exposition was. And then he got online and just searched the first like malware destroyer like firewall thing he searched and like clicked it downloaded it before he read anything just to like get rid of the virus that his sister put on his computer and then afterwards i guess decided to wank to some little jimmies and then the camera like after he downloaded it after he downloaded it he got text is when he did it and then he he yanked and then afterwards (coughs) his computer was open the whole time and then afterwards he got an email from just like a no no receipt it was a text no message, namer it was a text phone message. yeah it was yeah. something getting, it, and was and it was like send creepy. me your number number immediately if you don't we'll leak out the video of y- you that we just got and then like two seconds later he read it and was like what and then two seconds later another email came and it was a video that was like 15 minutes long and he was like fuck like that could, oh my god dude i mean first off don't get yourself <coughs> in that situation no stay facts, away from the little facts. jimmies yeah, I mean, that's that's facts. facts, facts we already one. talked about Millie Bobby Brown and Drake. Drake's canceled <laughs> part two. <laughs> but uh, no, dude, Black Mirror always comes up with shit like that. And then they, it like combines technology with like 
human morals i feel Ugh. like yeah you know what i'm saying like some shit that just Ooh. is like emotional that you wouldn't do but then technology like lessens the blow a little bit makes it a little duller what right? was it what was that one that uh the guy he he had a person die he, he was in a car crash when he was driving and then uh his family died yeah that and was he, in, in the new season oh yeah and he held everyone hostage and he, all he wanted to do was talk to the the guy Mark who made Zuckerberg the app the guy who the, made the, the app. app yeah you know what i mean and then he talked in the app and the guy was like i'm so sorry i hate how my app is going he's like shut up i didn't call to listen to your explanations i just wanted to talk to you and tell you about my life that's all yeah. he wanted to do. He held this guy hostage. That was cool. I remember seeing that one. That too. was in the guy was a good guy. He just held this random dude hostage, and he told him the gun was fake just to get him to calm down because he wanted him to be panicked. And then he got and shot. Then, no, right. it, I don't know. And then and then the they told him the gun was fake, and then the people said like they had a camera in his car because he had the newest car. And then so they approached him. And they they said, "We well, you know your gun is fake." And then he just fired shots in the air. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. Is that's the one thing. Like, uh, Black Mirror is really good at doing what you're not expecting, like, the white bread movie to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The yeah. old Adam Sandler straight to Netflix movie where you're like, oh, they're going to figure it out. Them and yeah. Seth Rogen. Yeah. Uh, Seth Rogen. Is it Seth, Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen has yeah. some traditional endings to yeah. most of his yeah. movies. No, like, like a lot of movies. He, except that's where except Sausage his, Party. That's where he gets his comedy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what that was. I don't oh. You didn't like Sausage Party? I didn't like the ending. I was just so confused. And I was so, like... I liked that movie. <laughs> like, I liked it, too. I, was, I did, it was too. Just I thought it was funny. It was oh, I so thought, different. I thought it was hilarious. But, like, the ending, I was just, like... I, was I just forget so, the I was ending, just, honestly. They, the, all, the, all the foods get it on. Oh, basically. yeah, you're right. I do remember that part. Wow. That was very uncomfortable. But so no, I, at I the thought same it was hilarious. Time, that makes sense. I thought I was, it was hilarious. I didn't think it was, like... if I watched this with my mom or grandma, I was, like... No, I... I'd never do that, what? but luckily I was just with the right people. I guess I thought it was. Ha- oh, I watched funny. it with all the boys, so like it wasn't. It was, you know, <laughs> it was all fine. I'm dead. Yeah. Are you plugged up to aux right now? Yeah, I'm on aux. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing bumping. I'm dead. What song we want? Huh? Say what, what song else? we want. We've play me about some. A lot. Play me some. Uh, Isley, Isley Brothers between the sheets. I don't know. I had yeah, a good. I had a good topic. I, yeah. It was uh, so like thinking about your parents growing up with like technology like how they didn't have phones and stuff like growing yeah. up they got the like first like phone that was like probably this long yeah you could dial some buttons but it was the first cell phone pay phone is that what it was called no there's pay phones what are, and there was like dial up it was like those pagers yeah well, that was those, it was like one of those like lines rectangle well they like, had yeah they had cell phones, phones but like it, was, that was this big. it was like eight and then pounds you yeah lifted it up and like yeah. you pulled out something and you could call satellite it. phone or something like, something like that thinking yeah. about now like my dad walked to school all the technology that like even ai technology like even the virtual reality shit like we're growing up in this shit you know like we're yeah. gonna look back and when our kids are like 10 years old they're gonna have some crazy ass shit well the thing is is that our parents are like no one's ever seen this rate of uh that's what innovation. they said that's what they said this back then no, this is that's the, exactly what they said the third back then industrial revolution all this shit was extremely popping in yeah. like it took like phones to like evolve only like 10 years seven mm-hmm. years if that you know you're not wrong. It doesn't so take like, too long. We're it, just it, in it, another d- industrial. And, we're in, our, we're in a league our of kids, our own. Our kids will be in that, though, like, and it will just keep constantly increasing how fast the technology, you know. Like, to a point, though, bro. We're going to get overwhelmed. It's to a point. Every fucking organism has its carrying capacity somewhere. Aka Earth. Save Earth. <laughs> throw, throw away the Little straws. Dicky. Throw the away green. the straws. <laughs> straws aren't the problem. Recycle I'm people. I'm sorry. There, as much paper straws as we get, it's not going to change a dang thing. I'm have sorry. You, have you seen the shit, though, that they like? Have you ever seen a tur- turtle choke on a straw? Time out. Have you seen the video of them pulling a straw out of a turtle's nose? That's I've seen that. Let's not get that fucked. I wasn't getting that fucked. Before they, fucked. Before Save they turtles' d- lives, people. But <laughs> before, they d- before they do biodegradable straws, they need to do biodegradable six-packs. Well, like the six-pack uh, plastic that goes around that... You ever seen Happy Feet? The the, <laughs> emperor, the 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 emperor penguin with the with the thing the, the thing, plastic the around his six neck. Pack, 
plastic. No, like, no, I didn't like see that. Oh, and that. Happy Feet? Yeah. 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 Have you seen Happy Feet They need to make biodegradable those before they I've make straws. I've seen it. Hey. Facts. The like I know I've for sure seen the commercials. Pack, that if you bought a six pack. Yeah, like yeah. Like the plastic, plastic things. Wrapping. With the, Just with around the his neck? The, like f- six circles, you know? Yeah, yeah. there's one I've of seen those circles around his neck. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've seen that part. By far, we need to reduce the overall waste and human race. Well, you see the shit they started doing with, like, plastic bottles in, like, Africa? They literally started using, like, <coughs> bottles as, like, the concrete <coughs> mixture. They started, like, putting whatever they do on the outside. They started building up with the plastic bottles. And they make, like, huts out of them, houses out of them. I've seen people make boats out of trash. They've done a lot with bottles. They made roads out of bottles. They literally stack up, instead of gravel road, they, like, stack up plastic bottles, cover it with whatever, and, like, it works. It apparently works better than putting gravel roads up on Oh, them. wow. Yeah, that, I watched some shit Only on to that. make roads everywhere, though. Yeah, I know, but it's still, like, it's a start is what I'm yeah, getting true. at. And it's, like, crazy what they do with bottles because I was, like, you know, we always like like heard like, oh, if you recycle, like you can make things out of it. It's like that's actually crazy. But like when you see it being yeah. done, and like them literally stacking up like Sprite bottles on these houses or under the roads, and them actually like being the city able- are this going to deflate over the see, years? See, I don't know, but appara- I'm sure they're apparently, already deflated. It's not like it's actually yeah. Just, apparently, it's though, they down. last a lot longer and like are better better structured than like just regular gravel. Well, they're roads. not naturally is what degraded. they say. They're is not what they say. Plastic's not naturally degraded at all. Right. For the most part, besides like I some bacteria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just had a test. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, expert Jerry. I'm sure that's already all like melted down Dr. and shit. Jerry like King. fuck no, no. I got got a skin <laughs> lab, bro. Anyway, um, I'm sure the shit's like all melted i'm sure that's like a good idea for i think it works apparently though they're having like yeah increasingly like good like like i guess rates from it i don't know the rates are good do you know <laughs> the <laughs> rates? I, can, I literally couldn't think of the word i like i was like fuck their rates I guess are hella rate. good no i know what you mean no it's, it's going good is what i'm saying it's like working. from putting plastic bottles under roads like in houses like apparently like the concrete structure of it is going well. Like everything's working out for the like. The more you can do. Huh? But it's a lot That's less. What I'm saying. But it's a lot less infrastructure where yeah, they're putting in the bottles. I mean, yeah, but it, it's can, still it, it's it can like work in New York City the way it works. You're literally putting plastic in. bottles that people have drinking out of yeah. to build your house, and do it you, works. Do you know what the number one polluter in the world is? Just by guess. Let me Pollute. think about this. Yeah, give me a sec. There I mean, because I would, I would polluter usually polluter into not, the air, not, polluter yeah, into the water. Yeah, good point. Polluter, like as a company. Oh, oh, company oh. wise. Hmm. Damn, I, I knew this because the it's going to be counterintuitive. The China it's company. <laughs> 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 I, I wouldn't ask you that question if it was a China company. <laughs> Who's well, China? It's definitely us, though. Aren't we the most like, no China's pollution? China's, China's the most polluted. Yeah. Are it, they? It, they don't have. It, it kind it of for sure. They don't have any. We have way more. Like it's uh, not just I us. I thought Trump said fuck that. I mean, they did. He did, but there's think, still too many laws in place. Like clean think air, worldwide clean water. companies, yeah. huh? I think worldwide companies. Prestige worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> um, Amazon. Yeah. Alibaba. Who? <laughs> uh, AliExpress. Alibaba. <laughs> Alibaba. Oh, uh, it's Coca-Cola. Oh, really? Coca-Cola is canceled. Damn, it's canceled bro. Number two I love me some McDonald's Coke. Yeah. Yeah. This one's always fiending for only McDonald's Coke. If you give him oh, Burger dude, King Coke, so you're doing it wrong. Have you ever had McDonald's <laughs> Coke? <laughs> have, it's no. different than what? regular Coca-Cola. Do you what not you drink soda? To, I was about to say, what you need to do is get a can of Coke, just some bullshit from Price Cutter, and then get a like Coke drink. Compare the two? That's yes. what we should have brought to the show. Really? It's actually yeah. better? We should have yes. brought Good some God. Coca-Cola. McDonald's has the best Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, everything up until water. I water tried. Water's <laughs> just water. I can't quote you on the Dr. Pepper and everything, but the Coke is night and day. Dr. Bro. Pepper is oh, for wow. sure night except and day. Except for, except I don't really for drink soda that much. I don't actually that, that much either, but only when I go to McDonald's, for real. Plastic bottled extra cherry Dr. Pepper is where it's at. Oh. But besides that, besides that. Just make sure you recycle after that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God he bless. He feeds it to the turtles <laughs> after. Dude, no, no. I, 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 I shove it in the turtle's mouth and close it and stomp. stomp that's what I do. Get like 10,000 turtles. Yeah, that's what I do. Coke. Oh, I've, I've uh, a pig. Uh, 
pit of turtles behind our house. I just throw plastic well, bottles at when I'm bored. I don't mean to make a breaking point here, but who's feeling a shot? Are you Jordan, I'm feeling another shot. You. I think Jordan's up. I don't know. Steve doesn't like this shit. I like it. You looked at me and you're like, I know you. Well, I mean, I, I, knew, I knew you were going. <laughs> I was just looking at it. Let's throw it back. Now. Like, it's Thursday because it is. It is oh, Thursday. Oh, shit, is this Thursday? winter break, bro. Dude, yeah, class has ended today. Are Speaking you joking? Speaking of winter break, today Actually, is I'll, like, I'll hit. I'll, I'll pass oh, it around Steve that. Wants you know, it. You know, Let's go, baby. You see, uh, wins, wins for the cam. <laughs> I'll do it for the Vine. Today, former, uh, former big time Viner. Little known <laughs> fact. Do you guys know that? You're a Viner? No, Jordan Fisher, big time Viner. Oh, uh, I can see A viral Viner. A viral Viner. I didn't know that. When I like first started here at Missouri State, I was like during my pledge ship. That's what I was known as: is the oh, Vine guy. Really? The Vine guy. That's what they would, especially Mitch Anik. If you guys remember oh, him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'd good. always call me out and be like, "Oh, you're the Vine guy." You're the Vine guy. He wishes he was a Vine. Yeah. Guy. <laughs> Dang, I totally forgot what so, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Something. I remember. I remember when I was talking to you. I was. Uh, do you want this? No. I talked to you. I'm driving. About a few things about the podcast. I, I talked to you about the highlights of time. the. The every so often and then I talked to you about your profile picture <coughs> how, how'd you uh, decide on the profile picture like where'd you get what that was picture it? from are you the, talking about that green background yeah with the paint throwing at you I want to know how you got that I always meant it to actually was that. a terrible day but uh, the reason my, my thought behind it is that you see the green background and then it's like that's a very unique color and, and you're going to think like my profile does yeah. that make sense yeah yeah so that's that's kind of what i was going for and, and i don't know if you guys link that on like instagram now that's that's the reason i use it on instagram now is there's no one else with a green background on their profile yeah right so yeah no i could totally not until see after that. this podcast i'm gonna do the same thing <laughs> <laughs> I this all three of you follow me all three involve of you. 216 <laughs> I, don't I follow me. this idea for jordan back when we were at the hizzy when i was a freshman I, and i lived there every night I don't, he saw me every two you days. Were, you were over there a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I liked know. it. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, and then he it was it was the day that uh, he had a podcast, and I was upstairs. I didn't want to intrude on the podcast, and then everyone but me and one person intruded on the comp- podcast, and I was trying my best not Wait, who to stay was out of it. Who was it? It was Sierra. Sierra. Oh, no, no, no. Sierra was an invader on that one. Yeah, that's oh. what I'm talking about. It that's was one. Noel and Ryan oh, yeah, Thornhill. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Ah, that would have been funny. I remember Ryan Thornhill. Because it was, it was, it was right. It was the semester. It was like beginning right after I got initiated, and then like into the next semester, I was like, uh, I saw uh, Noel, and I was like, oh man, good to see you. It's great to see you. You know, what I mean, good terms. Yeah. Though. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, I look at the podcast, and I just hear screaming from downstairs from uh one of the two and then they were just both yelling of them at, both really of them. they were just yelling they were just yelling that was my favorite podcast to date i watched i watched <laughs> that one in full length just to find that part and then and were then, they were they and, hammered or what i don't, I don't know, know. What, they I don't might know. Have, they might have been a little up. drunk fired i don't up. know what the pro- what happened i you know did you know i lived at uh sierra's apartment like i used to get her mail all the time oh no yeah, way like uh the next year artifacts i lived in the same apartment number and i was like and then I got I got some mail and I was like, and I threw it away. And then a couple of times and I started noticing it was Sierra Matthews. And then I was like, Oh wow! And I was like, uh, and I snapped her. I was like, This is crazy. This is a crazy <laughs> small world. Super crazy. Small world. Your name Sierra Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Small world. <laughs> That's funny. That was a good lisp. Yeah. No, Thank he you. he's got the hey, best hey, lisp. Hey, he hey. always puts me in perspective of a lisp. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He, there's he, this like girl. A, there's this girl Jared's talking to. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, just don't name drop. Yeah, no names. We're good. No one knows who we're talking about. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Except if you know Jared King. No, you're. Anyway, uh, there's every like time like if I say something funny, whatever, it's like funny, and Jared like a few days later messes around with it, always puts on a lisp. And well, I if you just say some b- dumb shit, I'm no, gonna say it like it's dumb. All, I, I don't know. I called you out for something. You're it. like, damn. He, he said it's right. so funny. It was it was right in front of it was right in front of homegirl. And yeah. then and, oh, then, and then someone was like, did you just have a this a uh, lisp nick? Well, and he's like, no. Jared just says it to make himself sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That the was next so day funny. He's like, damn Nick. I just kind of noticed that I always do lisp on shit. Yeah. I no. Like, <laughs> I, I kind of noticed it after you said that. I was I was dying. I was that was one of the that was one of the Nick moments right there. Motherfucker. There's a couple Nick moments. I wish you could. I, I wish I could just project my mind into yours, just show you these <laughs> memories. This is. I can't even. There's remember. actually some hilarious. Videos. Bro, I, this is a funny story. <laughs> when I was probably in fifth grade, I was just reminded 
because you were like telling him oh, said stories, Fifth and I was like, damn, are fucked up. early I don't know. stories. We might need to stop recording. <laughs> I, would always, I would always go over to Nick's to spend the night over at the at the crib, and uh, he we'd go upstairs and like he has like a little living room upstairs where we would always crash and like play video games or whatever. And it was late, and it was like one of the first times I spent the night over there. I already know where you're going with this. It was story. one of the first God times I spent it. the night over there, and I was like, "Hey, book. man!" But it was like we were get, it was getting late. We were just shooting shit, and, and it was towards the end of the night. I was like, "Bro, um, I usually like sometimes I'll like talk in my sleep, and so I like, just be aware of that. If I say like some crazy shit in the middle of the night, like don't freak out. It's probably just me just talking in my sleep. And of course, when I said that, Nick's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> all right sounds good man completely understand yeah that, yeah 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 you're <laughs> like dude that's no big deal at all i've heard a lot of people do that and i was just like thanks bro and i was just completely making it up <laughs> and so <laughs> we stopped talking and i just like kind of act like i'm drifting off to sleep and then i just like don't move for a second and then nick's just laying there and then i say nick and he's just like oh my god he's like jared Jared, you're sleep talking. Like, wake up, Jared. And I was like, still sitting there, this and I go, "I like where this is going. I like where this is going." And I'm just laying there, and I'm just like trying so hard not to laugh, and I'm just keeping the straight face and keeping my eyes like, you know how you do it when your eyes are like hella barely open at all, and you can just see mm-hmm. a little bit, but you're that you can't tell they're open. I was just sitting there, and then I was like, Nick, and I said it like louder, and he was like. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> this is like, not a lie like i like, wish this was a lie right no, this now. is exactly i remember it every, he's like dude quiet shush, shush, shush. he's like oh my god you're talking in your sleep he's like can you say oh this is so funny can you say a uh, ball and i was like a ball and he was like he was like oh my god has anyone ever done this before i literally yeah. thought i was controlling this i guy. know I like, and right, he's like next say can you blah, say blah. nicholas and i was like Nich-. he's like no no no, say nicholas and I was like, nicholas he's like oh yeah <laughs> sitting there like oh my god i think after like two or three what, things one of the like first three nights we had ever like, yeah had yeah sleep and ever, so then i I, I woke up <laughs> and i was bad. like i just kind of like rolled over i was like yeah I woke was, up i was like <laughs> no like Yo, the dude, next I, morning actually i thought i did it that night i can't remember i don't know eventually i, I know, told him it was either that night or the next morning i was like yo i was never sleeping i was fucking with you the whole I time and like, he, he was about to tell me that i was talking in my sleep he was like oh we're, wait what <laughs> 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 no, I, I wish this was a lie right now i wish this was a lie Damn. Oh, that was so I really funny, thought man. I was controlling Jared. I was like, all right, now next you're going to say this. Yeah, and I it's would do like, it. He would do it. I was like, <laughs> I got oh this God, bitch where I, I got want it. <laughs> he's like, Ripley, next, believe it or not. Next morning, I was like, <laughs> I can't wait to tell him. And he's like, I was like, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah I was, I was awake actually awake. Entire I was just time. faking. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. I thought you were gonna confess to something, like yeah. like make up yeah, I something. Thought that, I, thought that was gonna, I should have just said some <laughs> heinous shit. Yeah, I, I thought, killed him. I killed him. I thought, <laughs> that, was gonna, I thought <laughs> that was gonna be. A, I, thought, <laughs> I, I I didn't want to, but I, I had yeah, to. I I've had always, to. I've always had feeling for you, Nicholas. <laughs> 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 you say some super weird <laughs> shit. Or what if I started saying gay ass shit? Oh, to you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what if he said? He well, said, now that you're asleep, I can said, tell you this. He said. He said. He said. Now that you're asleep, I love you. <laughs> I, would just, I think I'd act like I'm asleep and never say anything about <laughs> yeah. it. Just stay asleep the whole time. I know it's still nighttime, but you have morning wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look so peaceful when you sleep. So, so when I was in middle school or slash early high school, I used to have this thing. I, I, I used to sleep talk like heavily. Like it was either like some like pig latin from the devil or it was like it was like it was like it was like that or like um so when, whenever my dad my dad my mom split up he got a condo up the street from me so he could live close and so me and my sister shared a room it was like this big big room it was probably the size of this basement like huge huge room it was probably like supposed to be the living room of the house but it was upstairs and then uh so it was rooms on this side. My sister said one night she, I thought I was like, uh, what's it called? Possessed by a oh, like a Spanish a demon. demon. I thought it was a Spanish demon because I my sister said she woke up freaking out because I just woke up in the middle of the night and was like, Como te llamas? Como te llamas? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, Como te llamas? Como te llamas? <laughs> my sister didn't speak Spanish and she woke up in the middle of the night and started speaking Spanish to me. I 
I probably run. No, I mean, come with I'm just a pretty I had generic something phrase. in my possession, I'd probably lose a sister. But I was, but I was freaking out at the time because I was in middle school and I'd taken Spanish and I failed Spanish twice in middle school. I'll tell you that one. Oh. You know why? Because Spanish in middle school, little known facts. Any kiddos out there, they don't need, don't pass Spanish in middle school. It has no effect on your life. It doesn't. <laughs> it it doesn't I have any. Effect. It. But mm, no, there's whatever. no need. You just get yelled at by your parents and that's it. Yeah. But but and then in high school I went on a cruise with my family on a Disney cruise and I shared uh, a room with my sister's boyfriend at the time and then he said he, this is the second part this is when I was sold that I was possessed by a Spanish demon and then he said I woke up in the middle of the night and just yelled me madre would never and then I was like <laughs> I was like what dude that's sketchy I, dude. I thought he was messing never. with me at first like, never me madre yeah. would never. <laughs> Me waking up on my door speaking Spanish. I don't, I don't know, I don't, and oh, I was just, no. I was just so confused because I don't, I like, I used to, I, used, you know, every kid knows the cuss words in Spanish. So there's some weird stuff. Like my friend, Giante? my friend, maybe <laughs> I, I don't know. Pussy in Spanish. Possibly, Giante. I don't know, I don't know that one. But my, my, uh, a couple of my friends were like from Spanish uh, speaking families, so I just look up all the words and just learn all the stuff. And like, like if there was a, uh foreign exchange student from china in our class and these kids would look up uh stuff from chinese they go on google translate tied in things in the google translate and the kid that was chinese would be the only one that understood in the classroom and he was just horrified of like the ungodly nasty things he said in this in this google translate it was just Texas heinous speech. heinous heinous like in the club whispering in a girl's ear and the girl's not trying to hear it type things <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking dead damn Man, oh man. So, do you think you're possessed? No, <laughs> no. My mom tries to tell me I am. Like, this is an ongoing. Ask my mom about this next time she comes down. I'm not joking at all. This is 100 percent serious. You think you're possessed. A, this uh, is this, this what's is it a, called when you take the demon out of uh, you? Uh, exorcism. Yeah, this we're is, gonna have to do an exorcism. This is on the, Steve. If you if you <laughs> ask podcasts on yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> sounds the like power of topic. Christ compels you. If, 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 <laughs> if, if, all right, enough. all right, Pastor John, come in. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Pastor comes right into the curtains. This is intervention slash. Exorcism surprise. We're glad you're here. <laughs> so yeah. My, so my mom. All uh, your podcasters out there. So my mom said that her fa- uh, her town that she's from is Verdon, Illinois. It's like a small town, like uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes south of Springfield, Illinois. Sounds like Solomon, in uh, Missouri. Possibly. I don't know. I don't you know what know that, that is. The witchcraft. Yeah. But not. not, not no, the, no. I've never heard of that. Solvin, Missouri. Isn't it? In Missouri, or is it? Am I thinking of New England? No, it's on. It's in Missouri. It's on the way to Cuba. Yeah, you it's on the way here. Have you heard of that though? I've heard of Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, yeah. The it's on the drive. Stories. The witch stories in like, Sullivan, Missouri. Yeah. I'll get back to that later. You're thinking of. You're <laughs> you thinking. You may need to cut this out of your podcast. I'll tell you exactly what you're thinking of. Is Salem, Michigan, or not Michigan, uh, Salem. Massachusetts. Salem witch trials. Jesus yes. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Damn. Neil. The old Sullivan All right. witch trials. All right, so back this cut out of so your back to, so, <laughs> so back to Verdon. So back to Verdon. <laughs> okay, this, okay. That was that was the insight that I was trying to <clears throat> feed you from my memories. Just that basically in a landslide, but put that in a whole semester <laughs> and, and put make it a lot drunker. <laughs> uh, uh, what's it called? She said that um, back in the day there was like a huge union labor strike, and then they at the time it was like a real racist town. This is like everybody was back in the 40s or whatever, 20s or whenever it was. And then they brought in like all these Spanish and black workers. And so whenever they showed up, this small town decided we're the law, and they just shot up the train and just like butchered everyone. Oh. And then like the house my mom lived in, everybody brought it in. Everybody brought uh, the bodies in, and so many people died in that house. And then that's the house my mom grew up in, because it's like right by the train station. And then so, like, uh, I think like she said something. I don't know what this has to do with it. This is just like a memory, but it comes up. She said like something like my great grandpa said nothing but a McQuinney live in this house, and that's like the name before Brewer, before McLean. Yeah. And then and then whenever they're about to move out, they moved all their stuff out, and the morning before or the night before the family moved in the next morning. The house collapsed inwards, burned down, like with no one in it. What? Yeah, and then and then. It's uh, like how? Like I was laying in bed last night, and something fucking. I I did not move. Like I was completely stationary. I was just sitting on my phone, honestly, watching TikToks because I've been watching oh, a fuck TikTok. ton of those things. And like I the last, TikTok. I never got on TikTok until like forty eight hours ago. Anyway, um, there's something sitting on my bed. I'm completely stationary, and something fucking fell. 
And it's like, how and does that like fire that, get yeah, lit? No, right. How does that thing, like, what force was exerted you on that me, object? You can't tell me, like, ghosts don't exist. There's nothing. I mean, you could tell me. You could probably convince me that ghosts don't exist. But, like. I don't think ghosts exist. Just, you Spirits know what, exist. Well, okay, so boomer. my mom says. Because, you know. Spirits exist. <laughs> my mom don't I'll tell give my it to you with aliens, but I don't know if I can do that with ghosts. <laughs> next time God, my mom's don't in, even get us into aliens. Next time my mom's right in now, town, I want you to say route. the phrase, ghosts and spirits don't exist, and just watch the just events Just stare at her in the face and just smile. And just ghosts don't exist. And then <laughs> just see what happens. You will she just, just be like, you will not even be ready. I could tell you she, no, I've met her before. I could. I bet you she would freak the fuck she would, out. She would, like. She's like, oh? Ghosts don't exist, and then just start going in on it. And, um, we need we need some bullet points for how they're gonna respond to your mom coming down next time. My mom yeah. last. We're not, we got a few bullet points. We're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that here, and we should have like a. Uh, Steve and his mom got into. S- or everyone holds hands, hey, and buddy. we're like, all right, I feel hey, all the spirits here right now. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Is that? Like a Ouija board? Not even a Ouija yeah, board. Yeah, no, it's a Ouija like, board. I no, my mom that. told me if I bring a Ouija board in my house, she'd, I wasn't living there anymore. Really? That's what she said. See, she my dad would say, out. like, let me sleep with the I Ouija board. I said the board. same thing, though. I don't care. I yeah, don't yeah. think it'll do anything. That's why your dad's That's not going to live past now. a scary movie. That's how I am, kind of, too. No, because yeah, I, no, like last year I lived at the Capacity house, and Jake, like, said he heard shit, like, two, three yeah, nights a week. And he would wake up, and he would be like, I would be chilling there, and he'd be like, yo, did I tell you what I heard? How old is that house? Uh, it's old. It's no. an older house. They've always had like haunted stories there. But, but so no, but Jake will always ass. would be like, dude, I heard, did I tell you what I heard? Something I happened. saw I saw something last night, and I'd be like, what'd you see? Uh-huh. What'd you hear? And then he'd tell me this whole thing. I'm like, wow. So, but I I don't know. That's just my mindset. And then he had like, he did some shit like Tate went up there and like read a verse or something, and he said he got goosebumps and all this shit. I was like, oh, hoo, 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 goosebumps over there. So, <laughs> Hope so we're okay. Oh, oh, no. I know. I was like, <laughs> better lock my door. <laughs> <laughs> Headless horseman's next door. <clears throat> I was not concerned. So yeah. at, our, at our home that we live in right now. <laughs> Tay walks up there and just gets a boner. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no! Hell yeah, we must burn perfect. this place to the ground. <laughs> So at this, the <laughs> house we perfect. live in right now is the ball. It's the name for it is the ball. <laughs> and then uh, can we get an explanation on that? Because I, I I partly understand why it's the ball sack. It's just because it's two houses. I don't know. We were trying okay. to think of a cool well, name because no one's like. Someone, Let's go to Johnny and Steve and Jared what, and what Nick's. other best name than just they said they said your best friend they said, that's they said, like they said oh ball is his last name ball and then sack. Yeah. Someone said someone said name him with the twin towers. Like first off that's because there's a house. Full. There's Second a house off, right, if you think this a is a tower, you need to get out more. There's yeah, a house that's fucked up. House right next to us that's actually pretty fucked. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that like we're trying to think of something that incorporates two people. And then we're like, ball sack. Nick Ball lives at one of them. We could call that one the ball and the other house the sack. And it was just like a weird-ass name. That's like, if stoic. someone ever is like, we're going to party at the ball sack, everyone's like, what the fuck did you just say? It's, and that's, it's that's actually not distasteful. No, not distasteful. It's not super distasteful. It's just like kind of funny because of how vulgar it is. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like if you live there, you don't want to say, oh, we're going back to the ball sack. But if – if you're gonna be honest, that it we just say that's out. why that's why our house is the ball. I've had, some, say, the house yeah. is the I've had some girls you coming could. over with me, and like I'm like, hey, they're like, where are we going? Like, we're going to the ball sack, not meaning to say the ball sack, because once I say that, they're, and like, they're like, no, the fuck, why we is aren't it called the ball sack. I'm just like, funny story, it's actually named after my last name. And they're and like, oh my like, goodness, it's funny like, story. Well, right doesn't there. <laughs> the ball Super, when you say you'll probably you say die we're, laughing after this. When story, you say I we're going you. to the ball, they're like, oh, I don't the ever. Ball. I don't. Kind of sounds like a club. Well, time out. I the never, ball sounds like Cinderella's <laughs> trying is, to find her shoe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. The thing is, I never say the ball. I always say the ball sack, and I feel like that's how it is. I've never everyone. said the ball sack. One Dude, time until this podcast, and I'm saying it in front of a camera. <laughs> that's that's Fact. the camera actually died. It just died like two minutes ago. Not even. Oh hey. We yeah, just died. Acapella. It's all right, whatever. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how you go for that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna it say is. it explicitly. Yeah. I thought that was that's hilarious. I was it's literally called. going to like be like, now you can. Yeah. Oh. He goes now you can the, suck uh, dick. <laughs> the unknown device he's sucking on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you don't, if you don't hear sta- so Steve's it's voice dick, for the people, next. People, dick. Steve sucking on dick. Yeah. Yep, if you don't yep. hear his voice, yep, it's because he's go. under the table. <laughs> The mic That's is unable to get so under much. the. <laughs> 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 Tickles me when he goes down there. Oh <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm logging <laughs> off. All right, good night, guys. <laughs> oh my Steve, God. don't go. Are you you got to piss? Oh.
I gotta piss. Send is it. that cool? Send it. Do I have permission? I'm I have go permission. After you. Okay, we let's take do it. Bloopers number two. Hey, if we're choosing on cutting parts out, I need to go through this video with you. <laughs> Rugrats go <laughs> wild. Why do you just smack his headphones out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, all I'm right. having a blast. All right, so let's go. Since Nick wants to set people out, I'm starting with the basics here. If he's cutting people out, it doesn't matter. Let's go for it. So two Where's weeks the ago. Is the right and left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. So no, it wasn't two weeks ago. It was like five, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, bro. This that's not funny. <laughs> I can't be on my phone without thinking twice about it. Now everybody's on their phones. Look at this, you millennials. Are we, are we millennials? What are we? Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Oh, man. I've been How subconscious. How long have we gone? I want to go pretty, see the audio uh, here. Pretty decent amount. I know. It's already 9. Uh, oh, it's 9.28? We've been going almost two hours. Oh, my God. Hour 54.04. I could have told you that would happen. Though. I know. We all... Got a little. Oh, look at that sound on the nice. mic. Nice. We start talking in ASMR. Oh, Steve opened a beer. <laughs> Crash it open. Bob this Ross. Is a S- <laughs> this is Bob Ross. Super silent. Paint a happy hey. little bush. Hey, how you much? Clean the, you clean the brush and it's like. Hey. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 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 oh, I got a video of this shit. Oh, my God. That's just because of you. I'm just. We'll become famous. <laughs> Steve's face. <laughs> How much do I have to Venmo you right now? Been there before, Nick. Hey, how much do I have to Venmo you right now for me to put on a beat and you just spit bars into the beat? You have to give me hell of money. I'm not doing that shit. I can't spit bars. Ah, man. Mom's texting me. Hold up, everyone. Yeah, I know. I started getting text messages from my parents. My mom's like, "Thank your sister right now." I'm like, "What?" You think you think we're giving Jordan a a good podcast, or you think he's disappointed in us? I think we're giving him a solid one. I can't tell. I haven't seen that many of them. I've seen clips, but I've I can't tell. I've seen the good ones. I can't tell if ones. he's talking way less than he's ever talked in a podcast be. because all three of us are just cheesing so much. <laughs> he might be, though. There he is. Are we speaking too much? Oh. Wait, wait. So I heard. I, I, I literally I walked down whenever Jared was saying, I, I don't know if he's speaking less than he's ever spoken before in a podcast. Yeah. It, no, honestly. It's it's funny like for people, it's very. It, it it gets to be like, not too much talking, but like, right on the verge of like oh, too yeah. much talking. I've never thought about that, but I could totally see it. Three people's a good amount because you get that that humor element, and then one on one usually is like kind of goofy, but mainly like pretty serious. I feel like like usually four yeah. is like very goofy, three's like goofy and serious, and then. One-on-one one on one one on one can one. get deep, I bet. Yeah, it gets really oh, deep, yeah. honestly. One-on-one on one is, is there a god? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If there's one-on-one on one right now, we would not be having a conversation. We no, had this no I could totally see that. I yeah. never really thought of that, one though. One-on-one with like, Jared. To have, like, a uh, about from that head. perspective of your perspective as the person, like, putting it on, like, damn, I'm about to talk to this homie or homette for three hours by myself. You know, <laughs> honestly, like my approach to four people has been that I kind of sit back a lot more and then I like listen, listen, listen. And then I kind of like <coughs> wait for a good point to chime in. Like I it, not that I like choose my battles, but yeah, I know I feel that I, feel I like wait that's for the, a good time. The old Rogan approach. Do you I feel like from what I've listened to him? Do you have people, a good point? Do you have people like ask you questions about the podcast on the podcast? I have, a, I have a number of questions right now. Yeah, yeah, I get wow. I get questions about. Can I hit you with a few? <laughs> it's been a, it's been a learning experience. That's can for I, sure. Can I hit you Wait, with a few? Yeah. No, I just said that. Uh, was, oh, take uh, a yeah, 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 yeah. I was just saying that was impressive. That was a fat cloud. Oh, thank you. I, I said know. I don't know if I can do. He one said that. And I go, I, he said that, and I go, that was a fat cloud, Steve, because. <laughs> <laughs> Steve ain't ripping fat clouds. I'll tell you that one right now. He's ripping paper. That's it. Ripping paper, ripping, ripping, ripping bad grades, grades up. Funny story is ripping I, uh, bad grades up because I don't like got to, none. I'd like to say I uh, am the first one out of our, I mean, our high school friend group that started with the jewels. Cool. Damn, you're cool. fucking sick. I know. I, just like before I go on with my uh, badass pass when I started smoking the jewel before everyone else, you know? Oh. Um, it's probably starting junior year, just for everyone noticing. I guess the camera's, <laughs> that dead camera. I guess the dead <laughs> camera is closed, but for my voice. 
just if you wanted to hear a badass speak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> during junior year, started smoking a jewel, stopped completely. I was like, damn. Not many people can do it. that, man. I know, I know. These two don't know how to stop. Anyway, I can stop, but I don't do very the often. The blueberry flavor of the enjoy definitely got me back on the nicotine. Oh, thing. really? That shit. Me and my friend were playing golf one day, and after that, we were already like pretty drunk. We stopped at QT because he wanted a pod. I was like, whatever. These things were literally going for ninety nine cents, and then ten dollars for two pods. I was like, fuck it, whatever. Just buy two pods, buy one battery. <coughs> Just see how it is. Blueberry was amazing. Loved it. Sucked all the juice out of both of those pods to myself. Like, mm-hmm. no one. Oh, thank God <laughs> the camera's <laughs> off. I would spill beer all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> no one else was getting that. I juice. was geeking whenever you said blueberry. <laughs> I was geeking when you said you sucked blueberry. all the juice out of something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, I was just like, fuck yeah, watermelon people, you, you suck. Blueberry people is where it's at. Yeah, blueberry is so much better than watermelon. I don't watermelon, fuck with enjoys for real, man. I don't really? Why is that? It's just like <coughs> hurts my throat. There you go. Yeah, Nick yeah. Tell you I anyone. already told you I was going to cough. I'm just a pussy. No, I don't know. It's just it. I think they are a lot harsher. Whenever I yeah. rip a jewel, it's a lot smoother. Yeah. A lot smoother. <coughs> I think it has something to do with like Thank you. the price almost, no too. Because you were saying it was 99 cents or some shit at, at one time, point. It's yeah, now it's $25 for a battery. No, guy. that, dude, that makes me think those like jewel companies or all those people are. Are literally running like 500% profit on every fucking thing they sell. You know know what I'm saying? Those chargers are probably two cents. The sticks are probably five cents. I mean, I've thought about the exact same thing. And the pods are maybe 50 cents a piece, probably. If we're thinking about this, you make a big ass batch of juice to fill up that much of it in a little pod. And you sell it for eight bucks a piece or whatever. What I'm saying is, they know Jules getting fucked on by like Sue's and all this shit. Oh, yeah. No, Jules. They're going to raise up their prices and sell as long as they can. The thing is, Jules is the name that all the moms know about now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, you Jules. Jules isn't cool. No, it's not. Hear this first. I like I told you I dueled for junior year of high school, right? Yeah, and he, that was the lamest year ever, of his all high school. <laughs> ever since this day, my mom's been finding my old pods. <laughs> like, You're are you still doing this? Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Like <coughs> my old pods from like the high school days. She's like, we'll have serious talks with me. Like be like. You know your like heart problems run in the family and like jewel increases your heart problems by like 50 percent basically i'm like mom i don't jewel anymore like i don't say i did jewel ever because like whatever but they knew i did jewel i was like i don't jewel anymore like in my head i'm like you keep finding all these old jewel pods they're like easter eggs literally just hide them around the house literally is like i'll hide them i hid them in one spot in my room all the time and I'm pretty sure when I was like here in college, like she, she did found the some scrapbook, snoop- then she yeah, found the jewel pods. Yeah, she did some snooping around and like probably found all my condoms. Do you care if I talk about the scrapbook? You know what? That's I another act- great No, I actually story. don't care. All right, so here's this. This, this, this is here. another before this before this ASMR. was spoken in public. This was taken at like fifth grade, like when I was little Jimmy, like all right. experiencing my sexual life with like. You want to take it away? Sexual life. You want to take By it away? Is in like. Yeah, no, I'll have, like I'll have Steve started, started off with this. All right, so this from what story, I... This though. Wait, wait, before we start the story, just know we got like 10 more minutes. And then yeah. I, I told some people I'd be done by like 10. Oh, yeah, yeah that's worry. Good. That's worry. Are you guys this going is perfect. Are yeah, you guys going probably, yeah, we plan on it. Okay, do you guys want to... I, my roommates are possibly going to a spot down, like near oh. downtown and then walking from there. Or we can meet up with Trud and them. Or if you guys got your own plan, I'm down with whatever. I'm down to roll. I think We're just going like to see where the night takes me. There was like a beer Olympics going on. Well, there. I, think I think that's we done. Won. But um, let me well, know where you guys me. are planning on going for the final so this location. Is, yeah, this, this is possibly. it right here, Jordan. We're going to stop somewhere before this. Jordan, this, this might be my not night because I have this Three much money. To, no. Yo. No. No. But That's this was this is utilities. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, okay. This is how much is left, and this is my money to pay for was gas to get 20, home to. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. So Ooh. so maybe not tonight. Super rich maybe, guy over here. Maybe maybe might go out. <laughs> Steve's pop got a few some names. moves on the low. Don't, <laughs> might don't spend sleep some on five Steve, bucks. All right. So anyway, anyway, the scrapbook. Yeah. So time so out. before this though, this is a great ending to the podcast. But make sure you say it right. I all right. So if, from what I'm. If Steve fucks up. All right. So correct me if I'm wrong. So the moral of the story is 
Tell Nick. the grade and everything. You know, you got to fit that in. All right, tell the grade. I don't know the grade. It's like fifth grade. Fifth All right, grade. so fifth no, grade. Okay. Yeah. Fifth grade, school. everybody went on, on the computer, started searching some heinous, heinous stuff. Heinous shit. They said they, said, <laughs> they just boob. searched boobs, hot girl. boobs, hot girl, boobs, <laughs> naked girls. <laughs> and so Nick decided his his little operation he had going on. Parents were gone. All right. All right, so parents were gone. All right, so he was had this operation going on for a while, and he decided that he wanted to do it more efficiently, more smoothly. He was tired of deleting eight yeah. things of history from yeah. eight different things. You yeah. Know? So, so Family what he computer. decided to do was he decided Innovation to go to his favorite favorite Google searches and print off these pictures. And so, like so, fifteen of them. Yeah, you know, so fifteen. Just have of them. a book. Nice. Just yeah, just have, have a, a scrapbook. So my parents want to get on to me for like so, so he, and eight shit. So smart. he printed. So he prints these not, off. Not too smart. So he prints these off, and then he decides the printer isn't working, and because none of them are printing off them off, the, the printer time, was. But right. I had no clue. I thought it was just broken. And then, uh, so he prints these off, and then. He decides it's not working and he just leaves it alone. And then so basically just goes, plays outside or something right after. Yeah, yeah. seriously. So basically he does whatever Nick Ball does in his <laughs> fifth grade years. God knows. But and then he so basically he leaves and then his parents plug in the printer and just pictures of boobs, pictures of like whatever heinous stuff of fuck of fifth grader searches on Google. Yeah. <laughs> Pop up on Nick the Ball's printer. Nick Ball's fantasy start printing <laughs> out <laughs> into his parents' lap. Prints out of the, like, printer. And yeah. then, and then they, this shit. they see this and they say, my little Lego boy my is mom. growing up. <laughs> so what happened at that moment is, like, all this shit started printing out once they, like, <laughs> when once. They plugged the printer in. Literally, it was literally just, like it wasn't plugged in. What went through in. my mind was, like, Damn, printer's broken, I guess. Yeah. Fuck. That's a bummer. Let's go play outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Left it all alone. Deleted everything off the laptop. Didn't think once you printed it that it would, like, Actually continue go. printing it once you plugged it back in. Because at this moment, I thought the printer was broken. All the shit that I, like, said I wanted to print out wouldn't go through. So I deleted everything. I was like, all right, we're fine. Let's just go out. Blah, blah, blah. My mom ended up, like going on the computer like probably like five hours later after this moment plugged it in i guess they unplugged it for some stupid reason i have no clue why plugged it in before she could even get back on the computer probably all this shit started printing out and she's probably like what the fuck <laughs> she's probably like in her head it's probably like what the fuck is printing out right now she looks over at all these naked girls coming out and so my dad first nick thing, is like 10 i'm not even in here i'm gone at this moment i'm gone at this moment my dad tapes all the pictures up on my door <laughs> it's like goes, goes downstairs to my mom's like at least he's not gay <laughs> like literally this is what this is coming from my sister like my parents to this day never brought up this moment no me. way i didn't no, know that no they never brought up this moment to me my sister told me about this moment my dad would still give me shit about that <laughs> yeah. if i did it Jerry's and apparently what scared. happened is my yeah. dad goes like they both see this obviously i'm sure my mom's like Mike, come check this out. Like, look what this. What do I do? What happened? This is my my only son. We have two daughters. So my dad, as now I look back at it, I'd probably do the same shit. (laughs) Taped it all up on my door, and like you probably got back (laughs) and we're just like, oh my god. Well, no, I'm not done yet. Uh He goes to my mom. He's like, at least he's not like gay or anything like that. And my mom's like. Cause I like was huge into Legos, and my mom was like, "Not my like little Lego boy. Like I'm the youngest boy. Like I have two older sisters. That's it." She's like, "Not my little baby. My little like I'm Lego too, boy's I'm too young up. to grow up like that shit." Oh my and God. before I go home, like my I guess my mom made my dad take down the pictures. That would be like if I walked into a whole bunch of pictures oh, like that, <laughs> like just you would recognize those shit, from a mile I'd be, away. I'd have PTSD Damn, to this day. I'd I just be like. <laughs> Nick, could Nick, you imagine if I walked into all those pictures I thought that were like Nick gone? would have a permanent Just private bow- browser on his phone. To I wouldn't. Day. I wouldn't be in college, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> That's super. No, funny. it was. That's it was just classic. one of those like little kid moments that you think you get away with something. And you end up just being super. Just fucking yourself you even just more. Literally, end up not knowing. Like, and you learn. Like people say, you learn from your mistakes. Like. My parents confronted me with all those nude pictures up on my door. I <laughs> definitely would have learned. I would have been like, still hasn't learned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still didn't learn a th- single As thing. Honestly, <laughs> honestly still do it to this day. <laughs> I'm kidding. Playboy magazines are check, from me. Check his uh, drawer. You see his scrapbook <laughs> yeah, yeah. still from this day. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> he oh bought a printer all recently. The, all the best <laughs> pictures from their primes. That's classic. I'm hey, just kidding. That was Jordan. Just Thanks for having us, man. Oh shit! Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. God bless you for definitely. having us. It's been fun, man. We definitely need to get another episode, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's leaving, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. Hey, it doesn't mean you can never have an episode again. Saint Louis. Episode two. We, Saint Louis. Hey, I know we're all from Saint yeah, Louis. Yeah, you guys are all from this. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, winter sure. break even? Pass? <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe not that soon. He's got a lot of guests long. to do. They're we can, we can, Do you have a lot of guests lined up right now? Not in, not in uh, St. Louis, no. Hey. Sign us oh. up. Put us up in there. They're I'm down ri- for another winter I'm break, pause, summer break. Maybe if next we don't time get I'll break. be high. No, listen, these <laughs> these people aren't ready for an episode two from the ball. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ready. We need, to, we need we, to give it we time. We need the Jonathan Act. We, need, we didn't plan this yeah. out very yes. much either. Yes. yes. True. No, I mean, you don't we'll have s- to We'll oh, sub, oh, we'll sub one of us in for Johnny next time because I do agree. I think that four person would be a savagery fest. Oh, it definitely would be. But If we had John here, John John is on the same level of heinous stuff when it comes Johnny's home. Johnny's got some hot John, things. John has came home on some nights I feel like if where it's just uh, been him and Ball and just going – off the walls with some stuff I've never ever not even Trudy I've seen out of these like two. <laughs> probably Trudy Trudy's done some horrible things when he's drunk in terms of just doing like blatantly like stupid stuff these two just come home and shatter records yeah. every time the shit he's probably saying right now all happened in the first two weeks of this no semester. it happened it happened <laughs> like three Luna. weeks ago too after Luna, it happened like though. three weeks ago too be That's mainly so after Luna Luna's left fun. in dust no one's oh, got to love that I love I that know. Classic. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for having us. And Hell yeah. yeah appreciate it. Big yeah, winter again. break, Next summer time. break. We'll seriously. Make it work. Yeah. Seriously. I'll no, be there. Seriously. We'll I got some out. family. I got some family this in Wentzville I've been trying to see for a minute. I'll, I'll make a pit stop. Hey, this there was you practice round of the ball sack. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Episode one. Yeah. Thanks, man. Episode one. one. Practice. The Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Any last thoughts? Any last thoughts? Uh, I don't think so. Fog. God bless America. <laughs> God bless the ball sack. Actually, I have this whole speech prepared. Thank God so. uh, <laughs> this semester's over. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. That's what I'm going to say for my yeah. final thought. I agree. Oh, I'm yeah. sure you're the I same way, the same. bro. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the hell you're out of here. You're hitting the real world. You're now. about to throw that hat tomorrow, bro. You're you're doing what I I'm fearing. About that part. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that part. I better throw it. You're hard. throwing the hat tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Dang, Graduation I got to tomorrow with Trudy. I got I got to come by and see come see you guys, man. 10 a.m. I feel like if you want to like, be there. I feel like you guys are my whole freshman year. We're that next year. Hanging with you guys all the time. Us two and Joe. I'm not. Oh yeah, but Joe and well, you guys are. I think that's crazy. That's gonna be you in four years, bro. (laughs) Four more years. (laughs) Seventh year. Hopefully, I might be eleventh year. I don't know. (laughs) We'll see. Fifth fifth year twice. We'll see. He's gonna be the Matthew McConaughey of college. Oh my God, dazed and confused. I hope I'm the Matthew McConaughey of college. Are you kidding me? Jesus. He's still today going to Texas and like all these girls. You're a marketing major, man. You got to get out of here soon. No Thank offense you. to marketing majors out <laughs> no, there. No, I'm a marketing major, and it's pretty easy. Next yeah, it's pretty easy. My friend here. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Other than QBA. Other than QBA. QBA, yeah, QBA I'll give you that. Dude, QBA, I've heard honestly, nothing good. my tips on stats, too, is get an cheat. Asian get an Asian to tutor you. That's what I did. And she just rocked my world. What? How many ways did she rock your world? Uh, j- strictly with stats. <laughs> <laughs> she, she rocked my world with strictly. averages and means and <laughs> modes. Percentages, percentiles. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Well, hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thank no you. Problem. No problem. And we are stopped.